kick you out if she ever, ever knew About all the you tell me that you do Dirty, dirty boy You know everyone is talking on the scene I hear them whispering about the places that you've been And how you don't know how to keep your business clean I'll go. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Got delayed. <laughs> got delayed. Like, hey, guys. Hey, sorry. I am so sorry. Just, oh, boy. We're off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's my two under uh, uh, lesson. But hey, everyone. Welcome to the 200th lesson of Pro Teachers Do. First, I want to thank Tristan for hosting all this. I'm too much of a cheapskate to be able to pay for both Restream and StreamYard at the same time. Ooh. At least, I'm, at least I'm owning up to it. But right now, no, we have, I never mind. <laughs> but yeah, we have right and to my and left, we have Ingrid. Hello, pretty lady. Yep. yep. To my right, Aww. we have Joseph. Hello. We have and we have Joseph and we have Tavia and Raymond. Wait, did you call him Joseph? Did you just call me Joseph? Joseph? Yeah, you just me. called him Joseph. I just, I just saw Joseph in the chop up in the chair. I'm out. <laughs> oh, I am off to a great start today, aren't I? <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> that guy, that guy. There we go. Oh, the yep. And uh, and Raymond. And off screen we have, of course, our and the lovely and hostess Tristan. Hello, everyone. I'm super excited. I I actually I'm gonna not gonna lie here. I I started reading Planetary a long time ago, so I'm not as new to this one, but I'm I'm in for the ride. Yep. And we also have Carrie is off screen. Hello, everyone. How are you? Okay. Yep. And has anyone else popped in? Uh, Let me double check. But no, I think we are uh, good. All yeah, right. Well. Yep, and we, and we might have other people popping in as we go through, but for um, but for right now, for my two hundredth um, lesson, we are going to be going over Planetary Warren Ellis's sister series to the Authority, and a book he said was a celebration of a hundred years of comics, where he goes oh, wow. over and yeah, this makes a you know, reference to so, uh, Tavia. Is that you? Make is that noise on your end? Uh, he's on his. Phone. He's like, got home. So, Tavia, yeah, are you Tavia. eating ribs or something? <laughs> Tavia, mute your end for a moment. <laughs> yeah, so my dad's going to my dad. Yep. All right. Yeah. Like, just mute your end for a moment. All right, Tavia. But, uh, okay. but yeah, and this, it, it is a great book. 27 issues, a preview issue, and three crossover books. One was The Authority, where they never actually interact with each other, they just deal with the same threat at the same time. One with the Justice League, which is an Elseworlds, 
and one was Batman, which was actually supposed to be an actual um, chapter in the book. But then when DC said, hey, you want to do something with Batman, he reworked it to actually fit in with the character. And the main three characters we see on the front are Elijah Snow, Chiquita Wagner, and the drummer. That's his name, the drummer. Nice. And, yep. And this is a very, very interesting book and great artwork by John Cassidy. Um, he is best known for working on this and Astonishing X-Men with Joss Whedon. Mm. Um, so, yeah, let's just dive right in, shall we? As we open up, jeez, oh, darn you, in DC Universe. We open up right away. Oh, my the- God, Robert, I've read all of this. I just realized <laughs> All of it? Every issue? I don't think every issue, but now that I'm looking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, hey, I'm going to pretend I know nothing, I promise. Okay, uh, Tris, there's going to be all, <laughs> given everything in this book, and if you didn't finish it, there's going to be a lot of stuff you don't Okay, know. that's fair. That's fair. You open it up, and I'm like, shit. As you're saying their names, I'm like, shit, 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 shit. Again, that's fine. You don't shit, know shit, where shit. the rest is going, though. Remember, we're fair. covering everything. That's fair. That's fair. There we go. Yep. But we open up in a diner right in the middle of the desert, just in the middle of nowhere. Coffee tastes like your dog took a leak in it. Dog's got to go somewhere. You don't like it. You can and you get out and get out. Goddamn air conditioners always freaks out when you you come in. Is it cold in here then? I don't really feel the weather. That's Chiquita right there. And we'll find out later. She has speed, um, strength, speed and durability. Hence why she's not feeling the cold. And basically, she comes in, meets up with Elijah, who's, as far as we know by this point, he's over, he's around 100 years old. He is what we will later find out is a century baby. Babies that were born literally on January 1st, 1900, at um, 12, at midnight. Uh, 100 years old? Yeah, well, he's not there. He's not at 100 yet. He's getting there, though, because it is still set around 1999-ish. And basically, she meets and she arranged to meet up with him. Of course, he says, Explain to me why I shouldn't kill you. Right? Explain to me why I shouldn't kill you right now. Is that why you agreed to meet me, Mr. Snow? To kill me? Maybe. And she just comes up to him and makes an offer to him, basically saying, How I have a job for you. It pays a million dollars a year for the rest of your life, no matter how long you work for us, no matter how long your life turns out to be. A plus, I'm in. Or, yep, we'll wipe yeah, okay. whatever record of your existence remains. And in return, we want the exclusive use of your talents, your memories, your experience. You, we have, and you have an idea of what's really been going on this century, the secret history. Help us yeah, uncover yeah. the rest. That's the job. Anything? Yeah, get her a coffee, one just like mine. So, <laughs> so yeah, basically, then um, she basically tells them the offer of you can go right back in that, uh, into that uh, diner and drink and that swill and eat that crap until you eventually die of. Um, renal failure and flatulence, or you can take a, cha- a small chance and have a life. Like get a job or drink coffee flavored with dog urine for all eternity. Tough one. Hmm. And then we see he's been giving, you know, got a new suit and everything. Look at the look at these digs he's got. Unlimited um, room service, um, time on you know time for on his own, and a platinum card in his pocket. That was and- baggy pants. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so of course when she asks who and when he asks her who's paying for it, we are we are. Well, planetary is the organization. So she, basically she explains about um there's the force man who pays for everything. She said, "We don't know who he is. No one does." So and, and of course he then asks, "What happened to the last third man then? The one before me?" I'll tell you some other time when we worked it out for ourselves. Then she and she, they, she introduces him to the drummer who He's crazy, and he talks to machines. And do they talk back to him, or do the antipsychotic and psychotic stop him from sucking television sets? It's his talent. Machines do as he says, but you know, but you know, he's nuts. What's the word, drums? A- Adrian uh, Adirondacks. Basically, and tosses them that, and basically says there's this secret place hidden in the mountains. That's going to be their first mission going over there to check it out. And well, they fly on over there as they're talking about basically saying by the and by the thirty and she's talking about a um a guy named Doc Brass or Doctor Axel Brass. Yep, this is a playoff of Doc Savage. 
This is what I mean by the celebration of 100 years. We're going to get a lot of XPs on characters. In this case, the pulp heroes. She gives a bit of a rundown. Very impressive stuff about Brass. Wait, course, wait, wait, wait. Is So then is the drummer an XP for Jack, Jack Hawksmoor? No, 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 no. None of these guys. And the planetary themselves are not the XPs. Okay. It's anyone else okay. they're going to run into that are the XPs. Gotcha. So okay. Wildstorm? I'm confused. Yeah, this is, this is in Wildstorm, yes. Ah, okay. Yep. Okay. Of course, though, like, don't piss her off. It's amazing how you can talk for ages, but not actually say one goddamn thing I understand. How do you do that? Don't piss her off, man. And why? Because she can drop kick a rhino over the Grand Canyon. And I can shove these far uh, and so far up your butt, you'll be able to taste them when you cough. No wonder you spend nice. most of your, your life on your own, man. Only way I can get me guaranteed a useful conversation. Of course, and, um, she's, and he starts climbing down. She just jumps right down. Can you really drop kick a rhino across the Grand Canyon? Tried it with an old man who irritated the crap out of me, and it worked. Might work with a rhino. So, yeah, they basically bring themselves in there and they find all these hidden, you know, things like the the Volcanian Raven God, among others. That's makes pretty way, cool. Yep, yes. and they, they make their way in there and there's Doc Brass, a Maxo Brass. You damn well better be the good guys. And he basically explains how uh, he's been alive since 1945. He eliminated the need for food and sleep in 1942, stopped aging in 43, and learned to close wounds with the power of his mind in 44. So he starts to explain about himself, about how in January of 45, he and a group of these others, um, of this other group of pulp heroes, had met up. We got um, Fu Manchu, the Spirit, um, they do the, but they're the XPs of, of course. The Shadow, um... Tarzan, et cetera, et cetera. And basically, they were working together to make a supercomputer, one that can map something known as the Snowflake, and which is actually the multiverse. It's a projection of the multiverse. And everything in between these universes rests the bleed. Okay. Um, and, but, and, but eventually, though, something sensed them. So as, she, as he's explaining it all, that now his legs have withered up because they got trashed all those long ago. He's been doing uh, protecting his place for fi about almost 50 years. But yeah, so it turns out the whole place is a supercomputer. All this built in the 40s. Oh, wow. Damn. Yep. But, um, and, but it turns out they were met. This is way back then by an XP of the Justice League. So basically, this notion is the idea of the Justice League showing, the superheroes showing up and attacking the pulp heroes. Hmm. And they were able to push everyone back uh, and take them all out. Only I survived. We nearly destroyed the world. And so we had to save it. But saving it destroyed us. And I couldn't switch the brain off. So I couldn't leave it. I had to stay here, stay awake in case someone else comes through. I figured the year might, it must be 1970 or thereabouts. How am I doing? A bit off. But, um, but yeah, so basically it feels like good job well done. They got a quantum computer built during World War II by a secret society of superhumans whom we didn't know exist. Plus, they're hidden court and headquarters. We did okay. It's a strange world. Let's keep it this way. Nice starting point, wouldn't you say? We're introduced to the characters. A lot of mystery being set up, but also some very intriguing storytelling points, wouldn't you all say? Mm -hmm. I'm interested. Anyone else? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I, I got I, nothing. Uh, of course. No, well, I, 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 I'm, no, 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 you're fine, Tavia. I, no, I, I, I am interested. I like these guys. I did not even realize when I originally read it that those were XPs of the pop, pop heroes. heroes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I realized the shadow was just about the same, but yeah, exactly. And um, yeah, so let's move on to the next issue. Ah, crap. That's one thing I hate about when what? it comes to DC Universe. It keeps on. It's trying to keep pushing on um, Ultra on me, and I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah, that's an annoying. 
Makes it a pain in the butt when I'm trying to stream. After I go to the first issue, bam! You're interested in Ultra? Yeah. No, I'm not interested in Ultra. Well, there's Hoopla. I, Hoopla, I'll do it to that one and try to treat people like that. Well, anyway, we all, and we're now yeah, following a Japanese crew. So, um, it does us good to have our genitals frozen in the small blue dead things. What? what wait. What? Uh, why? We don't get the joke. <laughs> I, I don't get it either. Hours. That was random. That was random. Hours. But yeah, but basically he's leading them there to Japan. And not Japan, an island of Japan. As they're, um, he's yeah, pontificating know. to all of them, seeing himself a master storyteller. But then they find the remains of a giant moss. This issue is about the fall, rise and fall of the kaiju. Is that oh Mothra? my god, Mothra! Is that that's Mothra? Mothra. Yeah, that's Mothra? That's Mothra. Yeah. Yes, that is an XP of Mothra. Cool. <laughs> we then see uh, planetary sh- you know, the group show up in their Tokyo t- um, group. And um, basically, yeah, welcome to Tokyo. And yeah, he's the chief, and they meet the chief of the station. I don't feel like a new guy. You don't look much like one either. So basically, <laughs> then, what? Oh no, he's the leader of this portion of planetary. And he's basically told about a place called I don't oh, know. Okay, this guy, this weird guy here, to hold shaking hands with Elijah. That is, his name is um um Shin, Shinya. He is the leader because okay. there's different or and there's different HQs for planetary across the world. This he's the leader of the one in Japan. So kind of like oh. shield basically, or like um like sword, yeah, something like that. But not really, not exactly. Not I really, mean, in know. the first cover, they said they were the astronauts of the impossible. Okay. But yeah, so they're talking a bit about Island Zero. And apparently Elijah knows um and, and knows uh Japanese, since that's what that's supposed to be. Now, if you didn't notice, we have no idea yet about Elijah's powers, but every time we we've been getting hints about saying it gets cold around him. We're gonna find out about his powers later. Yeah. But, but yeah, so speaking oh, of planetary something to up, but um um good point I can to walk to rather to um midnight power or we should the forty. I see them in, in no, no, uh, no. He will see them in the crossover, but no. And this mostly stays self-contained, but it's still in its own universe. That's cool. King Ghidorah. Yep, that's supposed to be King Ghidorah. And then, uh, oh, but yeah, they're heading on over. He t- and Elijah takes a smoke and just nonchalantly tosses him a cigarette. I didn't know you smoked. I have one every couple of years. Me too. How did you know? I'll tell you another time. Maybe. Kind of throwing back in what she told him last time. Nice. Um, we're landing. All right. You need a coat there? And, uh, but yeah, so they hang down there, and there's Mothra again. And, uh-oh, Godzilla. Godzilla! No! Yep, oh, sadly. Godzilla. <laughs> oh, well, again, this is the XP for Godzilla. Basically, we're going by the X-File notion of the government knew about these things and then made fictional versions of them to hide the truth. Of course they did. Ah. So this is not this is the inspiration for Godzilla. So not the real Godzilla. No, but yeah, this guy isn't crazy. He's basically saying, "Oh, eat it," and none of them want to eat it. They head on over there just as some mit- mit- weird military force had shown up, um, ready um, to arrest the Japanese. And the one guy shoots a bunch of nerve gas that kills them all. The gas is heading towards um, Elijah and t- towards Snow. And Jakita's even saying, move, that will kill you. And, well, he uses his coal to basically solidify the gas. Yep. Oh, oh, she, she, she's a speedster? Okay. No, no, she's just super, fa- uh, super fast for a human. Ow. So so she's not uh, a speedster. She's able to run at peak human speed. Hello, like, Saggy. Like, like, oh, hey, Saggy. Saggy. Hello. I love Saggy. Aboard. Welcome aboard, Saggy. We're going over planetary is what we're celebrating today. Yep. Nice. I have no clue what that is because I'm not a comic book buff. Nope. Well, yeah. you're, that's, that's the whole point. You're here to learn. Yep. <laughs> oh, Saggy. Speaking of it, I watched the Demon Slayer movie. I watched that, that today. The what? The, um, the, the, um, D- Demon Slayer. You know, the the Demon Slayer movie. The Demon Slayer movie. Oh, yeah. Is that the train one? No. The, 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 it's a new one. Well, okay. kind of. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you know what? No, we'll, we'll, yeah, we're, we're going off, off course. Yeah, we're going off course. But yeah, <laughs> um, so 
So yeah, basically they realize now they need to hide this up. They start to theorize about things. There's a whole lot of dialogue I can go over, but this would make this like five hours long if I did that. Yeah, so we got to speed, speed this along. That's why the whole thing's a summary. This is similar to what I did with my um, Just Imagine Stanley creating the DC Universe. I'm giving summaries of everything here. But yeah, basically... Great. Yep. Oh, if I turn out, Rodan is still alive! Rodan. At least Rodan. one of them is. Yep. I thought you said they died off. I did. Isn't that great? <laughs> but oh. now this one's going to deal a bit with ghost um, ghost stories. Ooh. With a little bit of the Spectre and, as well. Cool. Spectre? Yeah, because we're, we're seeing this one dirty cop. Now, this is in Hong Kong now. Uh, money to make drugs and money to make drugs to take. Whores to kill. Hong Kong is so kind to me. So, yeah, he's driving on up. We see this ghost cop is there. Police. Eh, they don't buy They think just run him on down. Yeah, he goes right through it, but he's still able to kill them. Hmm. Oh, boy. That's a nifty trick. Yep. And then there's that other cop. It's like, no, 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 no. Just keep them following him. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Never seen so much blood. Shoots a fire bullet. Oh! Oh, that's rough. Yep. I'll be damned. All that weekly world news crap the locals and office sent us. All that gibberish about the Phantom Cop of Hong Kong. Did you see that? That was incredible. Real life ghosty. Cool. So yeah, they meet up with a member of Hong, the Hong Kong team. Now, I should point out that Jakia claims she's been on the team for four years. But this woman says she's been on there for six years. To which even said, you said you saw Planetary maybe was only four years old. I know. Never met anyone who's admitted to being part of Planetary for longer than four. So she lied. No, uh, well, trust me, there's more to it. Yes, Chiquita is keeping secrets, but, but she's also covering it pretty well by claiming like, oh, I didn't know. Mm. Yep. Withholding right. information and still lying. Yep. Yep. Um... So, yeah, basically they're explaining a bit more about, you know, the cops and everything, who got killed and all that. And, um, yeah, but then the uh, the drummer, he senses something, something underground. And it's basically the afterlife. And, or as he likes to look at it as a huge hard drive of the gods. Wait, that oh, damn. Like, that's basically where what? all of our souls go to. like a, And we're like a hard drive, a disc. So uh, there's no time. heaven or hell, Jim. It's more but it's, well, it's, it's, it's up to get it's up it's up solid to, state and, and and Yeah. Yeah. Who did, the, who did the art for this? What? Who did the art for this? Oh John Cassidy. It's beautiful. It is. It is beautiful. Very yeah, evocative. Then, yep, and then the yeah, ghost shows up. Yep. But he said the ghost shows up and basically um all right, it's the uh, it's God. It's the only word for it that fits. It's Unimaginably huge. It is an object with more than 100,000 different angels. 196,833. Maybe. Shut up, boy. So basically, he reveals that he killed that cop, or that cop he had killed with the fire bullet was his partner, one of those who was responsible for his death. And when they killed him around his area, he became the, the phantom cop. And he will continue to be the phantom cop until... Um, and someone else dies in the same way, wanting vengeance to take over for him. Wait, this is Spectre. This is no, Ghost Rider. No, this is well, Spectre. it's a bit of the Spectre because he is a ghost, yeah. and he yeah, is true, going yeah. for and he is going for vengeance. Crow. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. A bit of crow, a bit of that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, and look at oh, look at Jake. Oh, oh, just dead. dead. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, boy. Yep. Yep. That, yep. That's, that's right. so and, badass. Yep, but but you no, know, it's the all I, it's like more the concept of the specter because apparently God chose him for this position. Ah, gotcha. So that's where it's like God, where it's like the specter. But yeah, basically, then he basically explains you know lists all of his crimes, crimes and everything. How happy do you think I am? I had a girlfriend, I had a job, I had a life, and now all I have to look forward to is killing scum like you until some other poor bastard gets betrayed and wasted here and takes over for me. Why are you so scared, Mock? Is it, and this is all Chi Wei and Chi Wei. Chi Wei never shot an unarmed man, never put bullets in a criminal's back. 
good old Chi Wei. People came Damn. looking for a mystery, but there is none. There's just us. Did he say justice? No, just us. <laughs> Together, we can be justice. Yep. Now, this one gives us a bit of a Shazam XP. Captain Marvel. Yay. Yep. <laughs> I love Captain Marvel. DC. So, Captain yeah, Marvel. apparently a building had gotten um, blown up. A, a building that belongs to an organization that was the Hark organization. We'll find out about more that, about them more later. But her, her best private investigator, uh, Mr. W and Wilder, is being sent down there to investigate. But while down there, he sees a mugging going on. Chases the guy. All the while, Planetary is down there. They're trying to get everything um, cleared away. But um, the guy just is Wilder. Chases the guy. The guy goes around this weird lightning bolt thing. But Wilder jumps on it. And then he's transported away. Of well, course. I wasn't expecting that. Whoa, look at this. What the ah. heck is that? Okay. It's, it's, okay. It's, it's, it, we later find out this is a shift ship, like carrier from the authority. A ship that's oh. meant for designing for traversing the multiverse. Or okay. oh, oh, like Bunny from um, um, Superman. Bunny. From what? Superman, Superman versus Superman the Elite. Elite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, to a degree, to a degree. Uh, Bunny, Bunny. Is, Bunny was an yeah. XP of the carry, of carrier. Yeah. Um, so, uh, delete, delete. No, I'm a delete. Yeah, I know, I know. But of course, drummer, why isn't this damn thing working? Working? I don't know, drummer. Maybe it doesn't need you because it already has a pet living, uh, living fart. And, dr and drums, for God's sake, get off that and the find. <laughs> but then soon the guy is brought back with a giant lightning bolt insignia on him. He's oh, taking shit. the same light that brass is at. Good morning, Mr. Wilder. How are you feeling? My name's Chiquita Wagner. This is Elijah Snow and the drummer. We met about five days ago in the Hark Building bomb site, though you probably won't remember that too clearly. Basically, he explains how um, while he was on board there, he um, he remembers everything. On board, he met up with this weird sent alien AI on board the ship that was speaking to him, and basically saying like he explains about the multiverse, how they shipwrecked, how they were traversing the snowflake. And but there was an accident. They crashed, and apparently they're responsible for the deaths of the dinosaurs. Of course. Oh, fantastic! Well, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> well, look how big the ship is. That ship is huge. It's going to comet. Yeah, exactly. Sense. But basically, what? they're saying they're trapped here, so they need a pilot. They want to go home. Will you help me? So of course he said yes. They stuffed in a whole bunch of alien stuff into him, and basically, um, they want to see the ship. So we actually transport and transforms to take them there. That's not we cut the most story. This no, more well, no, weird. no, but it's the, <laughs> it's the whole idea of the lightning bolt and the transformation. That's true, yeah, but they'll get into their spin on with science fiction. Well, matter. yeah, again, this is not meant to be, they're not all meant to be exactly like their originals. That's true, yeah, because I, th I think Black Hammer does that, that's in it well. Yeah, but yeah, basically they're showing around and. I want to answer point about Chiquita. She, part of the reason why she joined Planetary is she gets bored easily. And this is one of the places that allows her to not be bored. Of course. So, um, so yeah, she is so fascinated by all this. But she chooses to stick around with Planetary still. And they will choose to find, um, you know, to find anyone who could be their crew. Poor bastard. Has his body crammed in with alien material and agrees to spend his life convincing six other people to do the same. Same, um, same, um, and so, and so is a, a lot, so the lost ship can get home. And she just wanted to play tourist in the same place we get, and he gave up being human. Don't know what's the bigger threat to my life or, and sanity, the planet or planetary. Oh, and that's the one other thing. She, at first, um, she was saying the planetary is only an investigative mandate, but, uh, Elijah just walks, you know, butts in saying, Mr. W Mr. Wilder, Planetary is mostly an investigative, unreactive, uh, plotting operation. It's true. It's also a fantastically rich one. And what Miss Wagner is trying to say is, we'd be delighted to provide you with whatever you need for as long as you need it. So he makes the job offer. Now, look at the look on mm. Drummer and Jaquita. They yes, know smiling. something. Yeah, they know something. Up. Do, do, do they know this guy can have you trusted? <laughs> I feel like he's going to betray the team. It's Again, suspicious. you'll find out. 
But yeah, now we're going to get a bit more details about um, Brass as um, Elijah meets up with them. And this is where we find out about both of them being century babies. Okay. Now I should also point out Jenny Spark from the Authority is a century baby. Okay. She is? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, she was a century baby. And um, now they don't, it's not like they're all set to die when the new century comes around. Jenny felt she was because she was the spirit of her century. Yeah. But um, not only that, though, but they are not Im immortal. They basically stop aging at a certain point, and I think they are age wise immortal. But they could still die. Wait, did it all go to Jane Quantum as well? Jenny Quantum is is the next century's century baby. Okay, well, I'm the previous, and it was Jenny. No, no, no. Jenny Spark was the previous one. Out. So you Jenny Spark. She died at the end of um Elsa's run, right on um uh, uh, in the new year of the tw of the year t um two thousand. Right For then. Jenny Quantum was born at uh, midnight. Which read to Mark Miller, the 40 book. Well, yeah, that's when he took over. But that was something that um, Ellis left over for Millar to take to utilize. Yeah, for just kind of a mistake in my opinion. But at that point. Right, right. But yeah, so basically, yeah, talking a bit about the Hart Corporation. Now, of course, because it's like pulp, we're getting all of this writing stuff. We basically yep. find, and yeah, they bring up they bring about um um Jenny Sparks. Yeah, about Jenny Sparks a little bit. Haven't thought of her in. I remember first meeting her. She spent the thirties in New York. You know that strange little English girl in the dark, in the dark, all in white. Only met her once. This John C and Cumberland. John Cumberland. My God, there was a brave man. Basically, they're talking about other century babies they met. Apparently, Cumberland. Oh, no, it's not. Mm. You can't hold it, kind of. <laughs> hey, yeah, please. Sorry. Got him. First of all, this is before the boy. This is before the boys and the boys with that dynamite. That's true. Yeah. Still all there. right. This is long before the boys. This was in the night, and it started in 1999. Oh yeah, the boys came in the events. My bad. Yeah. Besides, oh, and, but yeah, so we're getting, again, more references to the pulp stuff and everything. As they're talking, they bring about the Hark Corporation, which was actually one of their members was Hark. That was the Fu Manchu type guy. And that that's the, um, his and that's his daughter is Anna Hark. That's the one that had hired Wilder. What? The one, okay, she's the one running the corporation currently. All right, her father okay. was part of Brass's organization. And children of century babies can inherit great abilities too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. So okay. Children okay. can inherit century baby. I'm lost. Okay, a century baby is born January first of the century. In that, in okay. their, in their cases, 1900, and uh, one of them was named Hark. He was the Fu Manchu type guy. Um, his daughter is Anna Hark, who runs the Hark Corporation. That Wilder from that other issue was uh, what she it, it was her private investigator. Okay, makes sense. I get that makes sense. Then okay, I don't and, know and, why. and anyone a child born of a century baby usually inherits a lot of their ability, their parents' ability, including being very long lived. Which, which include with Jenny Spark and Jane Quantum. No, no, Jenny Quantum. No, Jenny Quantum is not um, a. Um, um, Sunday baby. Not, it's not oh. a, she's not. A, no, she's a reincarnation of Jenny Sparks. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Jenny. Okay, re, re, Jenny Sparks re, and Jenny Quantum are not the same. Jenny Sparks died at the end of Ellis's run. True. Yes, I get. All that right, part. and then Jenny Quantum was born. Right after Jenny and Sparks died. Okay. So Jenny Quantum is the sp a century baby of the year 2000. All ah. these others are century babies of the year, of the year 1900. Or 1900, yeah. All right. Okay. But yeah, we then see they also dealt with Damonites way back when. Um, about okay. Damon was a whole bunch of other individuals. And basically, yeah, so... Um, Again, this is all just giving a bit more of a summary of Brass. And I, again, I like this idea of a Doc Savage type guy like this. Mm -hmm. 
And but yeah, so and of course he even says, um, you should have been around with us in the thirties, Mr. Snow. I can't begin to tell you what you missed. Glories. I was busy. Busy doing what? We don't know yet. But now we get introduced to the four. Ooh, who can they be? Okay. Yep. Oh as, my. Yep. As we find out back in uh, Germany, bunch they were trying to do their own space project and um, trying to they aim for the they were going for the moon, 1955, aim for space arcs on Mars by 1968. That's what they were planning to do. Um. Relax a little, Elijah. Like hell. Not until I've throttled someone to death or broken something real big. This is after he's found out, as we see a bunch of them are going into space. We find out about the group, a working known as Artemis. It was basically the antithesis to NASA, or the counterpart to NASA. Okay. Um, and basically, we're being introduced to some Randall Dowling, aka the Reed Richards guy, physicist, engineer. <laughs> you, na- uh, you name, uh, you name it. List up the, uh, the discipline as long as your arm. Um, while they're inside, we see these weird. Basically, they're supposed to be like mole men. The mole men. The yeah. mole men. From, from, from Mo- Daddy mole Cohen. Man. Yep. Jacob Green, aka Bet the Ben Grimm guy. William yep. Lezer, aka the um, John and Johnny. Torch. Yeah, Human Torch. And Kim Siskin. There no no none of them are related to each other. But that's supposed to be the what, suit one. Which makes sense because the Benetic four one way way to get together. They were more. Yeah, but yeah, these were all members of the Nazi Party. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, yeah, what? They, were all, they were all the Nazi Fantastic Four. Oh yep. shit, the Nazi Well or, or, or rather yes. they were they were had families that were part of the Nazi Party, I should more say. Because actually, this would be about the 60s. So these are all people who were either had families that were part of the Nazi party or were utilizing resources left over from the Nazi party. Hey, guys. I should not not even never die. No mind you killing yeah. only I, I wasn't a Nazi, but my grandpa was, and I'm spending all his money right now. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> they, 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 nice. they make their way up into the... But yeah, they make their way up into the bleed... Which is basically much like the Fantastic Four stuff. Instead of the gamma rays, you know, inf- uh, affected them. But as they're making their way in, they find a guy. That's William Leather. That's the Johnny Storm XP. Yeah. Tell me one gamma rays. It's actually Cosmic Storms that made the Fantastic Four. Well, I know. But here, though, it's not that. But we see, yeah, Jaquita's fighting him. And apparently, he's good enough to knock her around. Now, of course, she, she, he just read a whole, she sent him a whole bunch of the files um, about um, the four. How do we manage to track them down? Remember the guards in Island Zero? Sure, American flag, Japanese flag. They were from the art and what Artemis became. So basically, he just read over all the files of what the four have done to people, all the evils they've done. So they Uh-oh. are bad guys. Yeah, yeah they, they are, are very bad, much yeah. bad they're, guys. They're, they're, okay. they're probably Nazis. They're probably Nazi Germans, of course, they're assholes. Yep, and oh, look at that artwork. Look at that. Just That's you cool. and me, Mr. Snow. Who are you and how do you know my name? So it's Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you just ask if they're not... Raymond, did you just ask if they were the bad guys? Well, they, he said Like they four were minutes like... after we established they were Nazis? <laughs> I love to go get a cookie, so it's cut me some slack here. Okay. All right, Every fair enough. Cookies are super important. I'm not going to Fair lie. enough, fair enough. Up. Okay, and it's okay, but I, so anyway, though, like, so no, it's true. It. Well, I can do away with this damn beard since we've been and now been so completely compromised here. I mean, I'm not going to convince you I'm not me when you've found me in the middle of Rando's lab, am I? My name's William Leather, Mr. Snow. And you'll have noted that your attempt to freeze the water in my brain isn't quite working. Keep trying, though. And Miss Wagner will just be a bit a bit sore once she picks herself up out of Four Voyagers Plaza. It takes a lot more than a fall like that to seriously hurt her. Ask her about bro. I, I, I only I, I know the barest part of what you do. I know that you've done more than your share of making the world mediocre. The things we've seen here alone, if I understand them right, then and they alone could save millions of lives a year. Why? We're adventurers, my and my crewmates and I, on the human adventure. And you can't all come along. Woof! Right in the balls! Yeah. Uh-huh. Look at I what you've got here, you bastard. 
these things. In the last few months, I've seen a computer built in 1944 that can map the multiverse and something that stored and stored ghosts as information. And I've walked the decks of a ship designed to sail between realities. And these are lost things that could be salvaged or retrieved. And now I see these wonders, you utter scumbags, uh, uh, scumbag, shiny new and hidden away in a place and paid for by God knows what atrocity. Kick it the unmentionable. You changed, Mr. Snow. You don't know me. Oh, yes, I do. I've known you for far too long. And we're leaving the, in you alive because the new train of events amuses us. Remember what we four are. We were reborn in the exploding heart of the multiverse. We are optimal humans. We are explorers, scientists, gu and scientists, gods, the secret heroes of a world that doesn't deserve us. I don't know you. Oh, God. Oh, God, I can't see you anymore. We were given the world in 1961. We know all the things that you've uncovered struggled to uncover for decades. We are all those things. We are the secret history of the planet, and we are its secret chiefs. And time for you to ask yourself some hard questions, Mr. Snow. We and we'll overlook this compromising of our New York lab. There are others, but do you really want to doom for yourself and others by continuing to investigate us? Do you remember us? Who benefits from your lack of memory? What and who knows the secret history of Elijah Snow? What are your teammates not telling you? Oh uh -oh. dear. Oh, oh that makes things complicated. Oh, by yeah. the way, I should point oh, out like, all of these... Nazi. Like, what, yep. Now I should point out oh, that okay. um um all of these different um covers. That is um, absolutely a Sandman cover. Right, but they're that actually Sandman. I mean, I'm a hellblazer. Warren Ellis actually said he wanted these all to be like album covers. Ooh, that is a Sandman cool. cover. Well, that, oh, Sandman oh, cover on this one, well, on this one, well, on this one I think that might be intentional because they're going to a funeral. A funeral Ooh, you know. of Jack Carter. A.K.A. Okay. John Constantine. That's why right. Hellblade. Yep. Okay, that <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Hellblade. I was right. But yep, um, to, to turn out Chiquita really loved him. I'll miss him of terribly. Course. You're, you're never what I expect, Chiquita. That look is actually an important look, but we won't find out till much later. But yeah, it turns yeah. out. Oh, look yeah. at it! Look at the bottom. Oh. Death and yeah, yeah, Oh yeah. my God, that's yep. Simon. That movie, yeah. that death. Or, or X piece of them, anyway. That's Simon. Oh, but and then look at these. Swamp thing. Swamp thing. Like dark. Yeah, oh, Animal Man. Um, Animal the Metal Man. Man. Metal Man. So many uh, of them, uh, older at uh, his fu at his funeral. Adela, uh, Dylan, Phantom um, Stranger. Yep. Maybe yeah, not. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I don't know. When, but I don't know. But I don't know when the metal men were Vertigo. Uh, I don't think they were Vertigo. Is that Etrigan? Uh, yeah. uh, probably. Like I think that's meant yeah. to be Etrigan. I, I see Spectre. I see Spectre in the back of the green green cloak. Right. Or he yeah, so black man. So basically, yeah, there, it basically this is meant to be. Um, now, by this, keep in mind, by this point, Vertigo was on the low, the low point. By this point, all oh, they really sad. had was um, constant. And it was Hellblazer. Hellblazer. Everything Hellblazer else had been so float. So Vertigo. What? Wait, Vertigo had Hellblazer. That was yeah. Image. Yeah. No. 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 It was Vertigo. No, it's Vertigo. When did? Vertigo. When did? Uh, I. When, when did Image, and, 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 why would Image have John Constantine? You might that be mixing that up, Kristen. I am absolutely <laughs> mixing that up. <laughs> why would <laughs> Image have John Constantine? Image had Spawn, Is that Dragon, Mars? Invincible. Um, oh, yeah, Wait, am I, who's, who's pub, Is Dark Horse publishing them right now? No. Why would why would Dark Horse publish any of these those characters? <laughs> oh my god, I'm talking specifically about Hellboy. Oh Hellboy, yeah. Oh, Hellboy, yeah, Hellboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we said Hellblazer. Oh my we god, I should have been listening. Hellboy. This is my problem, not yours. Move on, move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, basically they're talking a bit about all this, but then we see this nice bit with Jack Carter deal and seeing this prostitute woman walking by. But then he looks over and he sees a guy, a guy who's invisible. Oh, for God's sake, you can bloody see me, can't you? Great so, Squire and Squire, though I can tell I'm not supposed to. Oh, God, this gets bleeding worse, don't it? You're Jack Carter. Guilty as charge, Gov. And you would be? Well, you'll work it out anyway, I'm bloody sure. I'm this year's Herod. You what? Herod, first and kill the firstborn, get the baby Jesus, all that? It's a job description these, guys, these days. 
and it ain't like jobs are easy to come by, is it? Suppose not. What brings you to dear old Soho in a couple of days from Christmas then? There's a pos and posse lives up in the in, in the arse end of Greek Street. I've got to pay a visit, if you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. Oh, come on. I mean for all. I know it's all rubbish, but no one and no one needs a second coming this year, do they? I mean, and down and Downing Street, all that. She does a marvelous, marvelous job, don't she? That prostitute. You're telling me she's pregnant? Pregnant with? Well, no one knows for sure, but you know, better safe than sorry. I mean, no one knows what's best for us better than the prime minister, do they? I'm just a civil servant government employee. I just do my job because them higher ups, um, higher up than me, they know and better, don't they? It's bad enough I just had to do something surly, bloody, rotten to an old girlfriend because she tried to kill me and most of the people I know. But to bump into some bloody Tory and civil servant spook off the butcher a complete stranger because she's inconveniently pregnant? Whoosh, be thankful as all I did to you, you and, t and t -rog. I'm bleeding, Jack Carter, giving it to, and it's a big bleeding and bleeding I am. All mouse and trousers. Burm! He left him stuck in there and he ended up dying. Fantastic. <laughs> That's so nice. Hey, like you said, be glad it's all I did to you. <laughs> there is that. Given the kind of magic kinds that he can do, yeah, this was a mercy. A mercy killing. But then um, they're trying to figure out about Jack, what killed Jack. And apparently he can, um, drummer can see magic of a sort. <laughs> but then with a little help from Snow, they're studying everything. Then this big guy comes out. He's meant to be kind of an XP of Miracle Man once we find out. He's basically like, you had, to, you had to die. You were the symbol of everything that has been done to me, you scum. I could have and should have been a noble, clean. Single. I didn't want to wake up in Soho with 12 volumed up um, tie rent boys and terrible stays on my side. You didn't have to take the damn photographs. I didn't want to find out that instead of getting my powers from a transcendent scientist mentor, I was growing from the DNA of Aryan super athletes and Hitler's personal sex midgets. I didn't even know Hitler had personal sex midgets. I what? liked my life. Neither did I. I, I liked my life. There was nothing wrong. I like my life. There was nothing wrong with me. I wasn't hip. I wasn't trendy. I wasn't edgy. And you know what? That was okay. I didn't need the split personality, the nervous breakdown, the shift in sexual orientation, my life being a lie. <laughs> you didn't want me to. You should have just bloody ignored me. Okay. You know, hey, he's, taking, Whoa. he's taking pot shots at stuff like what Alan Moore did to Miracle Man and um, Kid Miracle Man, taking them from being... Um, Basically, um, Brit British Captain, Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel to being very dark and gritty at everything. This is meant to be taking the pot shots and taking something pure and durable and deciding to edge them up for the sake of edging them up. Hitler's wait, so wait, 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 wait. He's got Captain Nazi. He's got Captain Nazi. No, no, no. We don't know what he is. We don't know what he is, but it's probably his miracle man. But he gets shot by Jack. After all Yay! that. Okay. Good. <laughs> the guy, the guy, the guy, the but if you notice, though, with Jack, who he looks like, given that symbol on his chest, it's basically um, Warren Ellis saying, oh, yeah, Constantine's now going off to be Spider Jerusalem. <laughs> oh. From Transmetropolitan. The 80s are yeah. over, Ember. Time to move on. Time to be someone else. Cheers. Yeah. Be seen, yeah. So basically, this was Ellis's way in his mind of closing the door on Vertigo. You're going to uh, on help, help we do? No, he did it basically in saying, okay, the, uh, tr the Transmetropolitan's the future. Okay. Um, wait. Wait. What? <laughs> okay. Tra and that was yeah. one of well, Ellis' other books. <laughs> I That's don't know that book, yeah. so I don't know. Okay, now this one is a throwback to the, um, the B movie. Yeah, the B I movies and all that. woman. <laughs> The attack of the giant boy against an alien. Yep, oh, hey, it's uh, like the Barbie teaser. Through <laughs> 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 the uh, yeah. One track mine. One track. But yeah, so him. they meet up with this one woman who's a ghost, but she's a radioactive ghost. Yeah, this ghost. Work. How does that work? Okay. But find out throughout. Oh, the whole point of this issue. Oh, it, on um, what's, what's that? It's them. Yep, it's them. 
No, them. not not to them. It's um EDF. It's no, them, them. The them, movie is called them. them. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah the movie yeah. called them. But yeah, so yep, Takeda's having a blast. Yep. So that ghost lady was that supposed to be like Marilyn Monroe? Yes, actually it is. Because she even says how she slept with the wrong person and then got mysteriously taken away. Kennedy. Now. Yep, that's what. Or at least yeah, an ex okay. of Kennedy. But yeah, so she explains this whole place, and it turns out. Um, sorry about that. I kicked it a little too hard. Have fun. Hell yes. Got our pilot out too. So basically, she I explains like her. how She's they awesome. were. Yep, they were all being studied and experimented on by um Dowlin. That's the Reed Richards guy. Oh yeah, <laughs> not not the actor, not the scientist. Yep. So yeah, basically, she got killed among all of them, but then exposed the radiation. And as it is stated, she has a half life of fifty years. Wait, what? A radioactive half life, meaning she can exist. She'll exist for fifty years. So after the fifty years, oh, she exist dies. or just be irradiated for fifty years. No, exist, be alive again. Uh, Wait, be alive. No, again. They, they gunned her down. Okay, they, they killed her. Yeah, they I killed her and then like... brought her back with radiation. Basically, what? this whole thing is How's a that work? okay. All this is a nod, this issue is a nod to the ra radiation creating all kinds of freaks and everything from the 60s and everything. 60s and 70s, I think. Yeah. Good, good times. None of them yep. turned out. Yep. Cool and like turns that. out he was um, working with Miss Hark from the Hark Corporation. But uh -oh. yeah, so we see all these other um, creatures and everything. Many of them died out or escaped. All just We just see all these horrors. And he's like, I could have done this a while ago. But I'm a coward. I wanted to live for yeah. as long as I could, you see. It was only half a life, but I wanted it. Ra radioactive half-life of 50 years. Time's up. I'm so glad I met you. <laughs> and she dies. <laughs> yep. She only had a finite, a, sh a finite amount of time. But yeah, okay. she did all this stuff because she felt someone needed to tell them. Someone had to deal with it. So she just stayed alive just so she could tell these people all that? Oh, no. She was going to die regardless. <laughs> she just waited until the last second to do it because she was a coward, as she said. Or a uh, drama yeah. queen, whichever. <laughs> well, she, she was so she got shot queen. by Nazis. Like, I don't yeah. want to wait 50 years. Give her a break. She was shot by Nazis. It's been a big <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Planet, okay. fiction. Yep. This looks oh. this looks like Mike Mineola. It, it kind of does. Kind of, sort of. Yep, but I'm yeah, the sure running side would have been still up after <laughs> being hit by that. I know, but yeah, yeah. basically they're inside studying all these different um the ship and everything. Um, but we're in, being introduced to a different guy. We're introduced to the prior third man, Ambrose Chase. And this is the first time that Drummer was actually in on the action. Normally, he doesn't get involved with the action missions. Yeah, he's more the um the the Anyways, tech guy, guys. but this was the first time he was involved. Okay. And it turns out um Ambrose is a capable of manipulating time and energy around him. He's able to phase things, you know, change their momentum, things like that. Well, that's overpowered. You no. would think, but he's not perfect with it. Either basically it's a reality distortion field. But he even says it's unpredictable. That makes sense. Yeah. So, so he's Jane Akinamura. Ugh. In a lot of ways. Why did you trigger Tevya? I uh, had to. Come on now. Yep. But yeah, basically, um, they're going to. He's an awesome. Right. But yeah, look at this guy. He's just doing. Look, he's basically like the Matrix. He's so badass. He's going Neo. Bullet time. Yep. Bullet time. But then things start to go and go south at first. To bring back someone from a fictional reality. It's what they're trying to do they're do they're trying to do. Oh shit. Yep. But things are starting to go south more and more until eventually the guy shoots Ambrose. Finds he finds an opening and catches him off guard. No. Yep, we then see Ambrose is remembering his wife, his daughter, uh, learning his abilities. His life's going through him as he even meets up with the fourth man. Um and but then it looks like he's dying. Like, I always did the best possible job. I know, baby. I know. And then he disappears thanks to his powers. This isn't the last time we'll see Ambrose. Hmm. But it, Takeda kills died. the guy. Yay! Revenge! You know, in 1997, Damn. which is the year this happened, the fourth man was missing.
missing in action. action. Like Ambrose Chase. Jaquiz already a member of Planetary when Ambrose Chase became the third man. The fourth, fourth individual brought back from the sample return mission is still at large. Okay. I don't wait. I'm it, we'll get to that. <laughs> okay. Now this one, this one we're gonna be finding about um hmm. this what what it turned out Wildstorm could have had their own Wonder Woman, Green Superman, Lantern. and Green Lantern. Okay. That's what As, I yeah, like, Elijah is uh, studying through all of this. Um, oh, a character I realized I just breezed past earlier was John um, Stone, a James Bond XP. We'll get more about him in the next issue, but we did set him up earlier. Ooh, I just breezed through that. I but um, but yeah, they're studying through all this stuff, and first we get, well, it's basically this is the version of Superman, advanced alien, not human, only barely humanoid looking, but yeah. they realize they um. Their, their child must be sent out. Um, and they also bring, explain how every time we shoot the gravity gun, oh no, because they realize by launching them, they just triggered their deaths of their planet. They shut it down, planet. Oh, fantastic. At least Wait, they left the planet. Well, joint, idiot. Yep. And then here's the, version of the, here's the version of the Green Lantern sending out these different lanterns to different um, individuals to be powered up by them. Oh, there it is. Be the light in blackest night. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> weapons. Yep. And then we see this version of Paradise Island. Young woman's being we'll sent out. To, analog. Yep. She's being sent out to the um, other world, given this amazing bracelet. You yeah. are a oh. wonder, my daughter. <laughs> then we see yep. the alien ship crash. There's William Lezer. Uh-oh. Yep. There's the alien. It's so Hello, ugly. All right. Hello, Randall. Hello, Randall. This is Look, like he just fried it. He fried it. What the hell? Oh my if, if it looks like a chicken, I mean. Uh, this is William. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, like you said, not human. I mean, baby. And it's blinking made of something weird. But you know, the kid burns. What? You never said anything about. No, no, you didn't. Oh, damn it, Randall. That's just your run luck. I incinerated the little freak. Next time, be more specific. <laughs> Wow. Be more than alive, not dead. Out of curiosity, how much weed have you had so far, Tristan? <laughs> no, it's really funny. Wow. Like it's the it's the great like not dumbest shit, but like it's kind of funny. Like, ooh, we got Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, like all these characters, and then they just fucking murder a baby. <laughs> well, they also they also just murdered um um. Oh, yep. Oh, I'm gonna send out another. Uh, um, Eric just said he's willing to join now. Let me send the link to him. Okay. Right. I'm gonna project and say six weeds, Raymond. Six. Six <laughs> weeds. Six weeds. Oh, six come on. Strange. Because they six. gave him the ugliest fucking baby. Of course, they're gonna roast it. Six different strains. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm calling it right now. Yep. I'm on that one, dead guy. But uh, hold on. Let me get back to the page. But yeah, they killed off the Green Lantern, and it turns out the Wonder Woman got killed off too. Because this yeah. is the fourth. Why? <laughs> why? 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 Is this why? genocide the okay. issue? Well, they also va they also vaporized the entire um, Paradise Island too. Oh Jesus my Christ! Oh my God! Oh, wow. I thought they I killed them. Well, here's why. Here's why. Because they want to, it's it's taking the idea of Reed Richards holding on to a lot of the technology or keeping back a lot of technology, but turning it up to the nth degree. Where in this case, they are trying to keep humanity in a weaker state. They want to make sure they control all of the great technology. And if there's no anyone out there that they don't feel they can stop that could overpower them, they take them off the board before they become a threat. So in other words, they think they can handle the authority in this world. Of course. Huh. Given a lot of their tech, they probably could. But they killed the Wait, Lantern that was the whole issue? The yeah. whole issue's over. Okay, all right, all right. The whole issue is, uh, is alien baby murder. Okay. And yeah. um, killing off the others. Oh, look at this. This is like the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. cover. Oh, that was yeah. the best issue yet. That was great. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, look, look at this. A woman, known, a, woman known as the, a woman known as the Bride. Just gunning yes. people down. And, well, there's John Stone as he's ready. He's and, uh, yep, but look at this. He has, like, some... Technology up his fingernail. Yep, uh, that's makes my fingernails hurt. Looking at oh, like he just starts taking them all down, lickety split. He Jake Bond, baby. Yep, yep. He is just taking them all down, and um, we're just seeing an example of it. And apparently, she was a robot. 
Damn bot. Of course. Oh, hey, Eric. Yeah, Damn you guys bot. didn't notice me. I've had Daffy Duck up for like a full minute here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and the baby, and to the baby murderer, if you're despicable. Oh, that was the Johnny Storm XP, Eric. The yeah, Johnny Storm XP. <laughs> I've never, I cannot read the, I cannot read the Fantastic Four anymore. Why are they traded like butt monkeys? Oh, no, 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 no. This is not meant, to, again, these are all meant to handle the story. So it's taken, like I was yeah. telling everyone else, they're taking the concept of the four, you know, creating technology and keeping a lot of it for themselves because they don't want it to get in the wrong hands, but turning it up to the nth degree and have it be, they want to make sure they own all this great tech for themselves. They want to so hoard it all. Does so this snow guy have like ice powers evil. or something? More like yes, yes, he does. Snow okay. definitely has freezing. He can freeze stuff. Okay, now we jump. In. That's the first time he met with Stone. We then see Stone meet in Kazakhstan, meeting up with him at this bar. Hello, Elijah. Been a while. What is this place? It's very secret. You you want a privacy? It's called the Last Shot. So basically, explains about everything. Um, and heard of someone called William Leather. And Leather, God, you have got memory problems. What? Of course, I. Of course, I have. Almost killed him in the late 50s. Nearly killed you too. The Nautilus, 1959. You told me back in 74 that all the time we were firing on her, you were hidden in the hold. Oh, yes. I know of William Leather. Why? Met him recently. Basically, he's talking with Stone, who Stone has met Elijah before. He's known him before. And basically, then he's um, explaining a bit about, you know, saying like, yeah, there's a lot of gaps in your memory, obviously. I've been playing mind games like this since OSS. Hell, I've been playing them since before the word was invented. So, yeah, basically just explains about, you know, they talk a bit about their history, and he brings up about the Planetary Guide, some mysterious book that has a lot of information. The moment he says that, Elijah starts to get a lot of memories back. Until... The flashbacks. <laughs> yep. Oh, but be a detective then, my boy. Mm. Very, uh, uh, very well. I can instruct you in my message. The fact that you found me proves your potential to work then for, and for this is your century and it needs you. That's Sherlock Holmes. Of course, it has the pipe. I'm holding my pinky up to be sophisticated. My <laughs> God, my God, God almighty. What's happening to me? It's a game, Mr. S and Snow. Elijah, what? It's all right. It's all right. Stop. It's all right. Yeah, that was it, John. As soon as I could perceive the, uh, the, the scaffold, then it's, uh, it stopped being elegant and flawless, didn't it? As soon as I stopped accepting, being unable to remember, and started asking myself why I couldn't recall specific things. Basically, he started, he started to remember everything. I, I want to know why you're working for Anna Hark. Glad you're back, Elijah. I'll bet it gets better. I know who the fourth man is. So oh, let's... This leads us to the big game changer issue. Number 12. By the way, Tristan, you're welcome for what I donated. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I wanted to make sure I mentioned it. Um, oh, oh Eric, sorry, sorry. No, he dipped and he put, he oh, put just a little something. So I wanted to make sure I said thank you. I was glad you, you joined. It was, just oh, I complete, yep. it was just $4.20. But hey, uh, like my mama used to say, every little bit helps. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, by the way, if anyone's noticed, by the way, this was, oh, oh, sorry. By the way, don't mention cookies. Now I want Oreos. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> but, uh, but, but, anyway, anyway, Elijah, come in. Sit down. I don't know why you called us in here, but we really need to talk about your use of the helicopter, and we should postpone. Sit down. Any other businesses until we've straightened out the protocol and barring expensive equipment? Sit down. Mm -hmm. Sit down. All right. I think you're both aware that I've been concerned about memory loss since we took four Voyagers building. The truth is that quirks in my recall have been bugging me pretty much since I met you. Remember the first time I gave you a cigarette, Chiquita? I didn't know you smoked. I have one in a couple of years. Me too. How'd you know? I didn't. That is to say, I didn't know how I knew. All I could do when you called me on it was to cover. I'll tell you another time, maybe. I mean, I wasn't going to let on that I was having some kind of brain fart. I didn't know you, but I do know you. Don't I, Chiquita? This is getting very weird. I shut up, drums. Just saying, man, this is kind of disturbing. You muttering away in the dark. Drums, shut up and let me get this done or I'll free every drop of fluid in your scrotum solid for a start. <laughs> 
Really? Now, isn't that in- now isn't that interesting? Trump here has treated me as a joke, an old joke at that, from the minute I got here. And now he's scared to death of me. Why is that, you think? Let's see now. Since you're sudden and suddenly doing as you're told, do you know what a planetary guide is? It's a book. I asked him. It's a book that's been published underground annually since 1925. And who writes it, Trums? Who writes it? You do. I do. And yet I've spent the last several years unable to remember that I've been writing the Planetary Guide since 1925. Strange, isn't it? I remember gunning down the deployment a- eggs of alien organic war automata in Judgment, Rhode Island in January, in Judgment, Rhode Island in 1931, like it was yesterday. But I didn't remember writing it up for the 31 Planetary Guide until last night. Why do you think, uh, uh, why is that, do you think? Oh, I'm not happy, Trumps. I picked up on that. Good. Why are you leaning on him, Elijah? I can't, I know I can't slap you around. I know I can slap him around. All right, then. All right. You created Mike, because she's a guy. woman? <laughs> well, that way? Well, well, or is it because he's a bitch? No. Like, it's got to be one of the two. Yeah. No, it's because she's, she's definitely a she can t- she, It's because she can take it. Okay, so okay. he's a bitch. Cool. <laughs> okay, so yeah, explain it all. And then he says, like, I like I remember all kinds of things. Oh, don't, and tell me you don't remember that. What do you remember, Elijah? I knew Sherlock Holmes. Wait, Crazy Dan explains how, Man. yeah, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes existed in this world, and he knew him. Then he says, I remember who the Force Man is. They start following him as, you can definitely tell something's changed in, Eli- in snow since now. John Stowe, on, yep. on. I'm going I'm in still. here. Uh, no, John Stone. If we brought about John Stone, it's the world's oldest and greatest <laughs> secret agent. He pretty much single-handedly invented psychological operations too. He's working for Anna Hark. I remembered that. But, and so he basically explains it all, and he goes like, "Um, classic black ops. God, I forgot that how much I love putting all this back together." And he reveals he was the Force Man. What a twist! Dun, dun. What a twist! Like, and you, young lady, were under instructions to not try and find me. Elijah, don't you Elijah me, damn it. I used to change your damn diapers. You were told not to find me. Explicit instructions. I know, I know, okay? Ambrose always used to say you couldn't come back, but you never did. Ambrose. Who's Ambrose? Ambrose Chase? I don't know any Ambrose. Ugh, as he remembers him. Mm. Oh, God. Where's Ambrose, Chiquita? Ambrose is dead. Shot dead during a raid on an operational run by Randall Dowling. Dowling killed him. One of his employees. Christ. So, Uh-oh. and then we have that other bit. Like, I remember when you were we were going to Jack's funeral, and you said something stupid. And I remember looking at you and thinking, why don't you remember? But this hasn't got anything to do with anything. Elijah, they say they'd kill you if you started remembering. No, they didn't. They said they'd kill you unless I submitted to the memory blocks and went and hid. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, oh so, yeah. <laughs> what? Who's nothing, chat nothing. Right? Chat right now. What's so funny? <laughs> nothing. Keep going. I'm so, What's I so know, funny? What chat. I missed? What I missed? Look at the chat. <laughs> oh, Joseph! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nobody else that. found it weird that he, that that the diapers yeah. thing. Nobody well, else because, found it no, weird because because he's known her since <laughs> she was a baby. Yeah, it's so weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's, it's a okay, weird. but anyway, he's remembering. Like, all I've changed that. your diapers is equal to saying I've seen you naked. Like, it's yeah. fucking weird. <laughs> all right, but look, no, look, no, no. the game's the foot, and I want them to know it. And then look at this. That's got the giggles, folks. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Ooh. Simple four. Nice. And the four know he's back. Now yeah, this, gone. now this, uh, Tristan, you're gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to reshare the. Then we have the preview, okay. um, comic to go over. So hold on. Um, Wait, the preview comic? Yeah, there was a preview, um, comic. Just give me a moment. You said a okay. simple four. Is there a complicated four? No, it's a simple. Okay. Yeah. What about the four that's like at an board, angle instead of straight up? Comic board. I don't know. Yeah, so this, this was a preview comic, That's and it's close. set after it's set after issue twelve. This one's a, a simple story. They meet up with an XP of General Ross. Of course, um, and now yep. Hogan. Or... 
Yep, and um, basically, just this gives us a brief introduction to characters, but we didn't know much about um, um, about who there are that are now alive as the Force Man. But there was the ver- this version of Bruce Banner. Um, it created more. This is more out of theoretical ma- mind, you know, mental science. You can imagine it, and it could become reality if you think hard enough. And while in this version of Betty Ross was the general's wife, and uh, David was his name. He drove on out there to try and save her. Gets out of there before his explosive goes off. And, oh, sorry, his name was, yeah, David Payne. But then, right as it happened, his mind started thinking about the his, um, integral design theory equation in his head and became something that could survive the bomb. We never fully see the creature, but we do find out what happened to it. It was bu- um, buried underground, and then around 1983, it finally died. Damn. Wow. Again, nice short story that gives you a good, perfect explanation behind all this, wouldn't you say? I mean, I an explanation. Oh, wait, wait, who's that guy? <laughs> who's the, guy, guy? The, guy at the, bottom, the guy at the bottom is the Ross guy. Oh, shit. It's He's old. Boy. He is old. Wait, he was already a full, He was an that older Hulk? man. No, Hulk is dead. He, they basically buried him under something mm-hmm. so deep, five miles deep underground. And um, basically, they kept him there without food or water. He's been there since um, 1959. He took. He, did, he finally. Oh no, 1963. He didn't die until 1983. Oh shit! So he's been 20 on. years to just stay there, screaming, pounding, trying to get out of there until he eventually died. He's very oh, old if he's man. dead. Yes. Yeah. Like, very very well, old. Him in that prison. Um, yeah. I, I couldn't oh, see yeah. any. I can see an old man on the bottom, TV. Our faces are all blocking the bottom panel. Oh, whoops. Page. <laughs> yeah, we've been blocking the bottom panels for a while. Yeah, whoops, we've sorry. Oops. There's got to be a way all our heads could be on one side, either left or right. Well, it's, yeah, but it, but, it would, but it would shrink the screen down, unfortunately. What happened? I don't I was... know. Let's just go with it. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't realize Ingrid had left. Uh, Sorry about that. Hey, look, I, do you want it like that? Is that better? Or because it makes it so much smaller. It makes uh, it, um, uh, is that better? Or? Uh, I, I think it's fine. better. I, I think mean, it's, it's fine. All right. I do a bit smaller. Okay, now this it's one is more. tiny. Now this okay, one is just more. Full, <laughs> just, full, <laughs> just enter full screen and you guys will be fine. That's what I did. All right. Now, By the way, I like, this co- I like this cover. It looks like uh, a mix between an old pulp magazine and Time magazine. You know, it's supposed to be a lot like Ge- Ge- or National Geographic or something. <laughs> it's meant to be like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, actually. Yeah. Oh mm. yeah, I know that team. That team in yep. Johnny. Uh, I've yeah. never seen the movie. Yep. Well, uh, we bad. see Elijah making. Him, we see Snow making his way into what ended up being Frankenstein's workshop. Yeah. And a bunch of failed experiments. Yeah, experiments no good. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, he, it was back in his early days when he was solo looking up all the stuff that he would eventually put into the planetary guide. Okay. Eventually, then he finds his way in there. He finds this um, um, electro picture, is what it's called, a secret map of the world. And then eventually, oh, through so there, funny. he was able to then lead into and find a, a, a hidden door. He freezes it and kicks it in. And that's where he meets Sherlock Holmes. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah. what? This is Sherlock Holmes as an old man. Elementary. Is he still on all that cocaine from the books? I, <laughs> I, th- I think he's given, they, they implied he's given up on it all. Yeah, but yeah, it turns out he's also worked okay. with Dracula and men, on some of the other monsters. But um, hmm. Elijah freezes him and then kicks his junk off. That's of mean as hell. Look yeah. at that. There goes that. his crotch. <laughs> Do Jesus. Vampires. Can vampires, uh, you know, <laughs> pro- of course they can bang. <laughs> of course they can. It depends on hey, the Lord. Uh, could have been worse. It could have been Dracula. <laughs> nah. But yeah, hey, basically, hey, this hey, is hey. again. This is the homage to all of this, as he explains a lot of their history. Again, so many of these issues, not all of them, progress the story of the four. Many of these just simply yeah. progress the um the the story of um um. <laughs> The you know, just you know, giving a lot of the, the shout outs and everything. So in yeah. this case, yeah, you know, all of this was just to explain about this era, you know, the old novel characters and everything. Oh yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Number 14. Again, if I read through all these, we'd be here all day. Now, this does look like a um, an album cover, doesn't it? It does. It looks like, it's um, really pretty. From, from the 90s. Um, kid. Kid. Yep. Kid. Oh, now this one yeah. gives us a bit of a interesting twist on the Thor's hammer. We have a, it has a stick. They hit it, and it transforms into a hammer. So they decide to follow voice. where does the hammer it's go. Now. So it, it, it's more like four, basically. Well, what is four? But then they decide to follow where does the hammer go. So they decide to find out about it. And it turns out it goes to another dimension. A dimension that they committed genocide to, hide, to store their weapons. Of course weapon. they did. Of course they did. <laughs> they killed the entire no, world no, just no. to get somewhere to store their weapons. Not to it's not even shocking at this point. Yeah. But yep. Can someone can someone take these bastards down? I want these oh, guys to I, die. Don't worry, they will. Whether it's satisfying or not is up to you guys. But we oh, have to now, now we're jumping around to the point. This is what led to Snow getting captured and having his mind wiped. As we meet up with Kim, that's the invisible woman. Turns out she needs those goggles to be able to see when she's invisible because she gets so invisible, even her own eyes are invisible. <laughs> I mean, she yeah. can't see. <laughs> so she can't see anything. She's just the eyeballs walking around. That's fucking weird. So oh, no, no, no. Yeah. no, no, no. I'm saying that that means she can't see even when she's fully invisible. Yeah, she can't see. She's invisible. She, <laughs> she, she, she's showing me anybody. Um, I can't see anything. I'm blind a bat. Yeah, now these weird creatures are, she yeah. calls them her children. Basically, it's, whatever changed them weird. made their genes, her and, and Dowling's genes, so messed up. That's what comes about. <sighs> Yeah, the face oh, hugger yeah. babies. Right. Yep. Well, we see a bit with Ambrose. This was Ambrose was still alive. They were being attacked and everything, and yeah, so um, basically they're fighting off a bunch of the four. Where and then Snow was there with them, and then eventually yeah, he yep, gets yep, okay. he gets abducted, <laughs> and this is where we find out about what happened, what leading to the memory wipe and everything. Uh oh. Yep. What's then? Um, starting to up. Um, what about you guys? Um, do you think do you guys even have their own point with the boy? Which is, what was that? I, 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 it's never been that for a parody. Do they do they have their own point which is in this universe or no? Their own what? Um, point You One know the sun, the sun, number different. No, 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 one. no, no. Again. <laughs> Tavia, these are not all one for one XPs, all right? These are more. No, just I know, general. I know, but I, I mean, like, no, they do not. Like I said, everything. they can't. All those things, you creature monster, you saw were their attempts at having children. They can't. <laughs> oh, so they can't they have their own thing with it. That's good. Because they don't forget it done. Now, the this one. Groomed. Hey, Rob, uh, Joseph says you'd be great for WWE. He kicked off his junk. It's rolling around and flailing around. Like <laughs> Guess where? <laughs> my God. This guy's my way to see it get broken in half. <laughs> right. Now, this, we're getting a bit of John Carter as storytelling. Also, we have Elijah uh, Snow meeting up with Ambrose's fam- family. Aww. Basically, just, you know, explaining to him how they're going to do anything they can to keep them, you know, supporting them and everything. Also showing that um, he's got, yeah, and that Snow can be a hard ass, but he's good with kids, and that he does care about these people, you know, his the people that work for him. Aww. Yep. And then yeah, so again, they're talking a bit more about it, but yeah, this is a John Carter type guy named Carlton oh. Marvel. Oh. No, no, his name's Carlton Marvel, but he's the XB of John Carter. From Mars. Oh, yeah, John Carter. From Mars. Mars, that old okay. book. Of Mars, yeah. From the old 50 books. That kind yep, of and, movie. Yep, and again, that's just this whole thing then is a bit of trying to deal, <laughs> take down that giant mech thing. <laughs> and, um, yeah, basically it's coming like this giant cre- oh, sand creature. But, yeah, they stop it and, well, yeah, that's it for that one. <laughs> that was, that was one, a then, story that might know one, of. Yep, this one find, gives us a bit, a bit about... um. Anna Hark, and about her history a bit. Um, no idea. I forget about who that guy is. But, um, but yeah, teeth my name. Disgusting. What? His teeth are disgusting. They are. It looks like his gums are bleeding onto his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, he, well, he's a bad guy. But yeah, this is, a lot of this is just a big fight sequence. Fight, fight. 
That's like the that's old great. samurai. That's like the old samurai and kung fu movie. It is a nod to that. It is a nod to that. Beautiful. And a bit anime like. Mm. Mm-hmm. Are you looking at? It? Yeah. Yep. Wait. Somebody's yeah, journal comics elites. Oh, oh my god! More comment. Dragon 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 Dragon. with the dragon. Right. Right. He oh, just go back gummy, bears. <laughs> <laughs> gummy bears. Gummy bears. <laughs> Gummy bears bouncing here and there. Yeah, so um, she then explains about herself and um, basically, uh, yeah, talks a bit about her father. And um, he's wanting to tell her that I know how your father died and everything. So he's wanting to explain it if that they can help him out. And also explains a bit about with um, Wilder, which they're wanting to also bring him back as well. And right. it turned out right. that she was close with Wilder, the guy from way back, the Shazam like guy. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, she's trying to come to an agreement. And um, basically, she's like, I'm not aging, Mr. Snow. I predict a natural lifespan of some 300 years. Therefore, I must take the long view. So, again, she is the child of a century baby, hence why she's very long lived, too. So, yeah, okay. basically, they make an agreement. And because Wilder is working with them and she really cares for him, that um, she's willing now to, to assist them out. So, are they, they going to have a kid together? Or they, right, we uh, don't know. We don't. There's not going to be any kids born throughout this story, Tavia. Uh, Joseph, I know, I know. <laughs> Joseph, stop making dead guy laugh so much. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Christ, Joseph. Uh, okay, 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 okay I'll take it back. We do get one kid born, but this is in a flashback. They're going to kill Who's it, right? Me? No, no, no. <laughs> no. See, Elijah no, is heading, in, in, God, he's heading we, into the secret city. And, go, um... Go, 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 the what is with you <laughs> genocide, Tristan? Wait. Th wow. this, okay, this, that whole issue was about genocide, and they fried a baby like a fucking chicken. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, they're dealing... He's heading into the secret city. And he meets up with a Tarzan oh, XP. Now, oh, this guy, we, has, we, got, we saw this guy way back in future in issue one. His name is John Blackrock. <laughs> of course it is. Of yep. course it is. Or Blackstock. Blackstock. Lord Blackstock. Black it sounds Black like the porn star's <laughs> name. What? It sounds like the porn star's <laughs> name. Yeah, well, yeah. Funny, well, but yeah, and then, yeah, they're introduced <laughs> to the secret um, city. And um, now Blackstock is a um, an outsider, just like Elijah is. But um, yeah, it turned out Elijah fell in love with this beautiful woman named Anyaka. Oh, she's hot. Yep. And um, they, yeah, they were very close together. But he had to leave and do something, some other things for a while. <laughs> and then when she got, uh, when he came back, there's a young baby there, Elijah. And they like, "What's going on? Uh, what's going on? I knew you'd come. Please." Your baby, yes, mine you and Black Box. What ha what's happening? You're sealing the city. No more infections from outside. And my baby, they leave her out here outside the city. Basically, she then reveals that why did they do it? They were bored. She wanted to wait, but she and Black Sock got bored. Which, in a way, <laughs> what? That, that's they were bored, so they huh? decided to have sex. Yeah. yeah. I guess yeah. they haven't been there. Haven't but yeah, the kid—that's Jaquita. Wait, that Jaquita? That's her? Her parents were Blackstock and um, Anyaka. <laughs> oh, then how is she Wait. so white? She's not that white. But I mean, are they gonna? Are they gonna burn the baby? Her her head. No, uh, no, we already know she grows up. Oh, Trust me, what do you want? Wait, 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 wait why did the in her head? Why did that? Is that? Oh no, no, that was just that was just put on there. By them, it's not a permanent thing. They just put them on her, and then they shut. They hid their entire civilization away. God now damn this it, one. Really? Guys, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> that was, what, well, anyway, this one is a nod to H.G. Wells, the Gun yeah, Club, okay. which goes back to of from the Earth is. to the Moon. Of course, 1950s, fifties, late sixties. Okay. Yep. Oh, I love this. Please leave. But CDC, he has diseases. He gives them the girls. Well, you don't want to know how. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, I know. But again, uh, the fact is, that's a perfect way to get a girl to, from Bond to run off. 
<laughs> yep. Oh my Indeed. God. Wow. You have to wash his hands. Well, Vaughn, it, 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 oh, look at this. He threw a cigarette at a pigeon and killed it. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Turns out, turns out, turns out that is a setup. Turns out that is a setup for something later. A pigeon Magical cigarette? Pigeon? No, no, no. Dying? There's something special he about his him? hand. No. His hand, something special about his hand, but we won't find it out for a few more issues. So the writer is that how he gets the ladies? Yeah. So the so the writer (laughs) setting up a special thing, a special power is by killing an innocent pigeon. The (laughs) spark. That's not James Bond. (laughs) That's Bullseye. But basically, yeah, I have it in my charge. The ship is crashing down. <laughs> right in, uh, John Connery. Why can't they do Roger Moore or Timothy Dalton? I'm begging somebody. I think that's more Pierce Brosnan for Stone <laughs> there. Pete Brosnan, I think... Pete Brosnan, Gene Vaughn. I love Pete Brosnan. He's awesome. This guys yeah. are hard to impersonate. Okay. Right. But yeah, but, okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, something oh, crashed through space, yeah, and Lezer, William Lezer is heading down there to deal with it. But turns and while they're taking it away, turns out he got um, ambushed by planetary. Which leads them to fighting and taking him down, knocking him out. Take that. Hey, I take the one, the, one the evil, even not to defend that four guys. Right. And so they found out about that. Yeah, this was an early attempt at shooting rockets, a rocket to the moon using a giant gun. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, the way it was done was it ended up causing it to go into space and make a big loop around back. <laughs> and carry a cartoon. Being, uh, let's buy a gun to space see what happens. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> yep, but yeah, so we yeah, we found out about all this and um Yeah. We find out about all this. Right, it right. But so now this is good. Good. Now, this clearly you can tell it's a nod to Space Odyssey. Too bad I want Space Odyssey. This is kind of weird, isn't it? We had to get serious about Space Odyssey. Yep, I looked it up. Yep, yep, I know. But weird. um So yeah, basically they're going up there to research all this. They're helping out a group of angels. They're, these are one of the ones we right. saw in a prior story. All right. Carrie okay. called it. Yep. Angel. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? It's like something that an SCP. What the hell? I know. But basically, it looks like actually... one of those sex dolls. I know. <laughs> but yeah, they're using their ship to get up to this place, all right? And there's a lot of information to study and research. And now, right now, they're not bringing up about capturing Lezer because they're trying to keep it secret for the time being. But yeah, so they go up to this giant um, monolith. Much like, this is more like um, Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. C. Clarke. This okay. giant monolith that has its own um, atmosphere up there. Hmm. That's not a monolith. Well, no, a it's a, uh, and even has an old dead oh, god. Whoa. Oh, wow. Hey, that's Galactus. <laughs> Something like that. And look at this. You have beings on there eating it, and some were trying to suck on its uh, tit. Uh, what the fuck? Of course they were. Of course they were. I can't take this shit anymore. But, but then it turns out another ship is hanging up there. Jacob Green, aka the Thing. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, like the Ben Grimm. Yeah, the Ben Grimm, and okay, he's. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Let me put it this way: Ben got it lucky compared to this guy. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Well, let's see what this. Goes. <clears throat> yep. But yeah, so we see him out the there. Of course, he's in a. Yeah, he's in a suit and everything, making his way through. We're seeing more and more up this giant thing as the the angels. Are showing, you know, are relaying everything back to them, uh-huh. and then if it, now there are some humanoids on there, and one of them eventually flies up to Jacob, grabs it, and crushes it, and look at him! Is oh my God, swamp. swamp thing! Swamp thing or swamp thing? No, he's a rock. He's rock. He's rock. What are rock you thing. He's rock, rock thing. thing. He looks like a giant tumor. Analog. Yeah, but he said, you know, Amino, you know, Amino, Ben got off lucky. Yeah, I mean, Ben, ben, ben Grimm did get lucky. Yeah, at least Ben got lucky. Yeah. He gets his rocks off, but this guy, holy ah. shit. Yeah, but, but, the but, but uh, here's the thing, you know, Elijah's uh-huh. ready to detonate the angel ship. Now, they've and Chiquita called him out on it, but, um, yeah, the right is they're detonating ships so that the monoliths can go far <laughs> out into the atmosphere, taking green with them. He's taking green off the board by doing this. And the I'm angels 
understand. They think them because they'll be able to study that place for over a thousand years. But they all died. They get, they no, get no, 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 no. They, they didn't die. He blew up the ship to launch the monolith forward. The angels are all on the monolith. They're just trapped there. Yes, but they are thankful because they have some place to research, to study for thousands of years. Angel so study? They, wait, wait, they want to stay in space? Yes, they, they want to stay on another. that. They want to stay on that monolith because <laughs> they are fascinated by it all. Okay. I hope they don't need to eat and sleep and... Yeah, no, they don't. Oh. They don't. They don't. It's like, there's food on that planet. Okay. Man, on that monolith. But yeah, so there's Jaquita's ticked off because she feels... Yeah, I know. Now, Jaquita's ticked off because she feels yeah, like, I swear... Uh, I swear, she doesn't feel like that's him anymore. Mm -hmm. oh. we're, we're nearly done, guys. We're nearly done. Oh, oh father. I'm so this one is a mind trip one where this woman is basically the equivalent of Doctor Strange. Hey, uh -oh. I, 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 I thought she had to be equivalent of... Um, Man um, and Adam Xanadu? No, not her, not her. Uh, not her, um, the green air lady from, from X-Men. Not X-Men, from... Um, you, you may say thing. I forget her name. She did, Beast. She looks I'm like she sure. smells the best weed ever. <laughs> but basically, well, funny enough, wait until you see this. Look at this trip that Eli that Snow goes on. Okay, what's up, everybody making weed jokes tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of us aren't joking, Eric. It's not even well, 420. <laughs> some of us aren't joking. Welcome to the crew, man. It's always 420 here. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, yeah. That, that that that's the funny with the analog because the green hair. No, 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 cause, no, 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 because she came and she was made Ag and a a a Abigail was made after this woman. Oh, so she's the analog of her. No, not even close, Tavia. <laughs> I I know, but it's, it's in same design. The green hair with the gray, not a gray. Okay, but well, anyway, now we're gonna get yeah, the well. torture of um. Of William Lazar, as we get a bit more about his Long history. Ranger. Oh, Long Ranger. Oh, no. oh yeah, oh yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah, he is actually descended of the Lone Ranger and the Spider, who was actually more of a um. The sh like I said, he was the Shadow XB. So we're Does getting we get a with Ponto? Actually, so, yeah, right there. So he's the Shadow oh, okay. with the Statue of Spider. No, 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 no. He is a descendant of them. Out. Oh. Basically, the so, the Lone Ranger guy was a that was born before the century at the start of the century. Whereas then the other one is a cent the spider, the um the um analog they're the green hornet analog is the yeah. um he is a century baby. Wait, the green hornet is a century so, baby. So, so the lone ranger is not the century baby, but the green <laughs> hornet was. Are you okay. silver? Please, I'm century. not armed. I don't care. Look at that. Bam. That's beautiful. Wait. That's not that's not doing it. That's that's Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex. No, 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 no. He's supposed to be the Lone Ranger. Remember, these are not meant to be one to one. That's true. Yeah. Wait, did they want to kill people? I, I don't remember. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I look, but look, there's the there's the um, Green Hornet. They died a baby, Tavia. Are that's they holding the yeah. kill? Yeah, they killed them. No, 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 no,
Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, I didn't know that. That guy literally just said it, though. Right. Yeah, so, now, I was, no, I was just... Joseph Jonah is not out to finish Megan Fox. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Because this, uh, this we get, we, we're about to get the backstory for the drummer. Hey, I like Megan Fox. Shut up. <laughs> I say, we're about to get the backstory of the drummer. It turns out he's a mutant, the equivalent of a mutant. He was born with the, the genetic quirks. And that's basically what this whole this whole issue is about. As um, Elijah, Chiquita, and Ambrose make their way in and get you know, rescue him. And oh god, she just kicked that guy's spine out. Ew. She, <laughs> that's some Mortal Kombat, Kombat shit. Really Kombat shit. That's a fatality. Yeah. It is. Uh oh, and everyone, all, everyone's heads, but <laughs> all the other kids' are heads are about to explode. But they get what? it off of him because they don't Poor want anyone to take them. But why? Are, why? Well, are they, you know, they say this one. Why? No, kid why? why so they can prevent because um, because Plan is showing up to take them. So of course they don't want him to ta be taken. Yeah, look at that oh, bad yeah. guy. Exactly. The but so head they up. get but they get it off of drum uh, Naturally. Drum, drum, drummer's head. Yeah, look at that. You'll never take oh, my kids. Oh shit! Yeah. Holy well, look shit, they failed miserably to save those kids. But they at least oh, saved oh, one at one. least. Yeah, yeah and one, one. let like six others die. Good job. I know, I know. But yeah, they, he basically uses his <laughs> ability to cause the whole place to self-destruct. Yay! Oh, worst rescue ever! Ever! <laughs> worst rescue yeah. ever! I'm in agree with that one. They didn't bomb for that. But yeah, so then he yeah, meets up with Stone again <laughs> as they're chit-chatting a bit about all uh, uh, everything. Meets the, oh, and, uh, something like that. Now this, I love something this like cover that. here. I love this cover here because it's basically the copy of the Planetary Guide, which is the inside cover of the Omnibus. Oh, that's uh -huh. cool. The Omnibus. Right, cool. All the buses. Well, I mean, it's, fit, it's fitting given yeah, how exactly. we heard about these Planetary Guides. Yep. That now bus this, goes in all directions. Now this yeah. is where we get a bit more connecting the dots and everything as they're in their Brazil um, headquarters. Jesus and they're taking... Jesus wants a hug. Can you see the statue? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I just have a statue. Give Jesus a hug. But, yeah. <laughs> so they make their way yeah. down, and we see all these different planetary guides. And basically, this is where Elijah starts to explain so much about what's been going on in the past number of issues. And basically, he starts to realize that being a century baby meant that he is basically, they are meant to do something special for the world. In his case, he's always going to save someone. Even means that other lives have to die to do it. He, if he's going to save someone he intends to save, he's going to do it. <laughs> so he's like Beastmaker? Something like that, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is where then she and Jaquita finds out about her, mo and her mother, and he even says, you could have been my daughter. Uh, That's not helping uh, the case from earlier. No, <laughs> but, but again, again, he Ouch. was snapping at her simply because, like, I told you, it's like, but Elijah, don't give me that. I changed your diapers, meaning, like, I've grown you since you were a baby. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, she was talking about uh, this this woman not being, like, completely black or something like that, because both of oh. her, her mom was black, and I, the, what was it, the... Uh, Tarzan guy, Blackstock. Yeah, yeah, Black... God damn, that's a fucking porn star's name. <laughs> that yeah, is absolutely is. a porn star's name. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. but basically, it's about all of this... Black. Yep, that's right. All of this, they basically were just getting a summary of everything that's been going on about how, and this, he's making the case that I'm saying we have to stop. Joseph, Joseph enough of the bananas. I want the chiquita. Chiquita <laughs> <laughs> oh. banana is a great meal. Damn it, I have that robot in my local school. Leonard sings that every single time. Yeah, but yeah, basically it's made clear that um, yeah, they're, they're, again, we're just getting reiteration stuff like the four are just repressing all kinds of information, everything about it, and then yeah, I saved you, Jaquita. The elders of the Opak Ray were going to leave you in the jungle to die. I saved you, Drums. You were a puppet, and all puppets are eventually tossed in the trash. I spent my life saving information, knowledge, and experience. And I'm going to save Ambrose. It's what I do. Yeah, I don't much care for the who has to suffer for me to achieve that. I'm not playing anyone's game but my own anymore. But then the the four attack the building, blasting it Whoa. all the way down, oh, killing cool everyone in the building. So fortunately, so the bunker. 
the blow to survive and withstand it all. So everyone mm -hmm. else was killed and this makes it clear to them more than ever before there's no thing with them they need to go down they have to stop me or they have to stop them now we have to take them down but i mean not to say exactly now this is where we then um get a big reveal about with jack stone turns out he's yeah. never worked with anna hark he's been working with the four the whole time Traitor. turns out he was the one Jesus. who blew <laughs> he is the one who blew up Hark's building. He's the one who contacted um, Wilder to come in. And he's the one who posed as the mugger to lead Wilder there. Why? Because the four wanted to have someone, some way, be able to trigger it. They had no idea what would happen, of course. And it ended up sticking in their craw that they, um, that they weren't able to get a hold of this. So they were ticked off at Stone. Stone, yep. fearing his own life. That's the reason why he started pointing Elijah to start to remember to save his own neck. Of course he did. But because they want, they, they, I can't have a major intelligence player helping the four. Not now. And they, so this leads to a fight between in between them. And we find out that the same hand he used to kill the pigeon is called the Devil's Paw. Of course. <laughs> so, which is a nod, which actually is a nod, to, which is a nod <laughs> to something that um um. Not Nick Fury, but um, um, Baron Blitz um, Stokoff used in uh, in Shield. You sure oh. like Hellboy reference? I know who it, uh, it is. Yep, but yeah, it leads to a big fight. But Takeda's able to take him down hard. So yes. Dave and Anna are out there doing. And oh, I love this. Well, I'm so glad you <clears> saved <throat> me from the four. I mean, they might have hurt me, you bastard. <laughs> Turned out he had a bomb in his chest, but thanks to a little help of him, drummer and snow freezing it, they were able to get it out of him. And so he's saying, Now I need to know more about the four. So we find out when they went, the probe went through there, they ended up on another Earth. An Earth. Of course they did. It looks just like Apocalypse. Oh. oh my god, it's Apocalypse. Or, 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 Wait, um, or and look, doesn't that face right there, doesn't that thing look there look a little like Unicron? I'm about it to say that's Unicron. But well, look, look, look at the face. Well, look at the face over there. That, that's Unicron face. But, yeah, but here's the or, scene. Or, 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 or ego. We find out the you four. The we find out the four <laughs> so are selling out Earth. So they can be, they're they giving are. it to this other Earth so they can enhance them. And then they will do whatever they can to make Earth easy pickings for an invasion. And then the four will go off to another Earth. As far as they see it, there's an infinite multiverse. We, and who cares about out of one we came from? So wait, 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 wait. No, but these jerks sold their old planet. Okay, you no, know, the assholes. But yeah. it's called a unicorn. Excuse me, Ultron. Excuse me, Galactus. Yep, and they, so they go That's in there and they transform. But we also find out about um um Dowling's powers. Turns out he doesn't stretch like Reed. His mind stretches, and he can actually have bits of his mind leave his brain. <laughs> And infect your brain. That's so he's gross. the maker. It's a little gross. Brain <laughs> stretches or... Basically, he makes these little, like he says, it's not telepathy. His mind stretches and worms out and lays eggs and reproduces. Oh. Anyone who's ever been within Ew. 100 feet of Randall <laughs> Dowling, it probably it's is if Dowling chose to take over him. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. Disgusting. <laughs> now, this is the issue where we see... Bullshit. <laughs> Now we get the fall of the of the remaining four of you is know. The 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 oh, checkmate, checkmate, puzzle. Checkmate I want those puzzles. I want that puzzle. <laughs> so yeah, they basically they're shown to this communication device that they ripped out from stone. They use it to contact the four, trying to set up something. Why? Because the four still has information that they can use to save Ambrose. So they want to keep them alive and no, 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 no. They're willing to trade. They're going to say, I'll give up my life for you to actually kill me and anything you need if you'll give us the information and have them save him. Okay. So they're ready to yeah. make this deal and everything. <laughs> and thus, uh, he says, hey, we're mystery archaeologists. Hey, yeah, and look it up. Story. You're back at the diner. Yep. Out. Hey, <laughs> yep. And, us, and there's Dowling and uh, Siskin. They meet up there, and they make an, an agreement. They scan him, find nothing on him, as agreed. 
He then gives them, they give him the information. Drums checks it out, says it's real. So he basically says, go off and head off now. Like, well, now just the three of us. What are we going to do with you, Mr. Snow? Well, we could agree that you've done very badly by this planet, withholding critical science and selling Earth out to some small parallel, some parallel world. Yeah. It's not good, is it? We could agree to work together on planetary defense, save the world. What do you think? You think this world matters so much, don't you? There are millions of Earths. Millions. And it's an accident of birth that put us here. Nothing more. You do amuse me, Mr. Snow. It's a shame that I can't allow this anymore. You can't do a thing. You may be able to stretch your mind to other people's heads, but you can't kill. It's why you kept green and leather for so long. You don't talk to him like that. I kill too. Oh, I know. And you owe him a debt for making those goggles. Like, Mr. Snow, I can get into your brain before your powers harm us. And if you had another plan, well, my vessel can lift us out of here before you can do a thing. So, right, but then you're like, well, I wasn't, and you're saying you don't have anything. Well, I wasn't when you scanned me. Try contacting your ship. Try using your goggles. Ooh. What have you done, you bastard? Localized distortion of information, space. Drum slipped it to me when I handed him the device. It's only one form of communication, and that'll work right now. Uh, and it might answer a long standing question of yours. Door. Transport. Randall, don't use that tone with me. You've been, you've, you have been a spectacularly unsuccessful brood, brood mare, and I keep you only out of sentimental. No, no, that's not possible. He can't have. What? Uh. What's he done? You told me he, had, he was no threat. You told me he was lucky and, 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 and that on his best day of his life, he knew exactly one thing that you don't. Go, go, go. I'm going, I'm going. One thing. Oh, oh no. Get back to the... What? <laughs> No, you <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Come on, man. Um, yep, where to, Mr. Snow? Well, your ship's been buried under Death Valley for a few million years, Mr. Wilder. <gasps> I think she should be taken for a spin. Uh -huh. Then ba they basically pick up their bodies, go to that other world, and leave a message. Basically saying, yeah, we're gonna, we'll do this to you <laughs> if you try anything. We've learned a lie, how to kill more than 50 years ago, by the way. And if I don't just delete your universe from the informational superstructure of reality, your agents are dead. You are not welcome. Leave us alone. This is your only warning. Okay. <laughs> nice. I got to ask, was this anticlimactic? I mean, they kind of go from up so much, and then, how do you follow burning yeah. Hades? But they already dealt with. They already dealt with the one who burned the baby. They shoved me. Is this over? Well, no, no, we got one more wait, issue. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to the thing, Anwar? What happened to oh, no. him? He, he got launched out on that monolith. He's out of the solar system. Oh. <laughs> he can't wait. get out or anything. So I just noticed Joseph. I just now noticed Joseph and... saying Jesus wants a hug. We now return to, Je to Jesus and friends on South Park All Access. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the last issue. It's an epilogue. And then we got the three crossovers. So don't worry. I'm going to speed through all of those. This oh, is basically I to call a, after a year, they've actually been utilizing so much of um, the, the four um, tech that they've been keeping restrictive. Basically, this whole issue is um, now no longer considered canon with the rest of the Wildstorm universe, but it doesn't matter because it's wrapping things up. Basically, Earth yep. has started to prosper now that the four are no longer restricting their technology. But now they're yep. going to try and use it to save Ambrose. And they basically deduce that his distortion might have actually hit him, slowed down time on him. But to try and reverse it or fit, bring him back, with what they know so far without waiting a while, if they try to do it and rush it now, it could risk damaging space and time. What? So basically, but, but Snow doesn't care. He wants to save Ambrose, no matter the cost. Yeah. So sure enough, they start to work on it. They start to do it. And then it seems like time is starting to collapse as others from other parts of the multiverse start showing up. Hey, hey, you, quit worrying. The real good stuff hasn't happened yet. Well, not to you. As more and more show up, and then um, sure enough, they're oh, things about to go crazy. Jaquita sto oh, stops it, and Ambrose is there. They finally saved him. Doctors run over there, and like what? Uh, uh, that's it. You came back to see this? We thought it'd be funnier if I waited. Sorry. 
<laughs> Meaning that That's he's funny. been back in all these other worlds, but they held off until they made it clear. I'm never going to say it enough, but thanks, Elisha. Thanks, and thank you for my life. And basically, yeah. So they, that, that, this was all an epilogue showing that, yeah, like, in a long and long future ahead of us all. It's taken a long time to get here, but you and me and her and him, we're just getting started. All right. Oh, Wait, no, there's more. And, editor, and also editor ben, on his last issue, Ben Abernathy, current editor of the Batman books. Hmm. Yeah. Why are you good or bad? Uh, that's good. <laughs> now, <laughs> I said, I'm just going to breeze through the, um, the crossover. The yeah, this is the crossover with the authority. Like I said, this one, except for one moment, they don't actually meet, you know, interact what? with each other. No interaction. Well, Not really. It's how just about the crossover t- then? No, because they're in, the squid. Because they are, and they are act. They are both dealing with the same problem from a different point. Uh, okay. So right now they're dealing with all of the, you know, these creatures. Now this is Phil Jimenez doing the artwork. Now we oh, have. Oh cool. I love it. I love it. Artwork. Back in back in 1931, Snow is meeting up with a writer. It's H.P. Lovecraft, and he of finds course. these weird eggs. And playing up the idea of H.P. Lovecraft being a um, racist, he said he believed they were. Yeah. Uh, he believes they were Negro eggs. He thinks that ne- that blacks had um um were re- reproduced like lizards. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot H.P. Lovecraft, the real guy, was a jerk. I forgot about that part. And we yeah. Blow the eggs apart, Mr. Snow. No newbie in America. No black planet. <laughs> oh yep. Yeah, the black planet. Mm-hmm. Public enemy. Yeah, go Google. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, look at that. We, got, yeah, we have Apollo and the engineer. And the, the, the engineer. engineer. Not but, yeah, right basically they're fighting off a bunch of them. And but yeah. meanwhile, Snow is, because he is aware of where some of these creatures are coming from. He knows where to go. And they have to go. Joseph's <laughs> turn. We mentioned wrestling. Joseph has turned into Bobby the Brain Heenan, ladies and gentlemen. He <laughs> cannot stop joking. No, okay. Also, so I ask Gorilla Mon soon, I got to say, will you stop? <laughs> also, I've been moving your guys' photos around and it's not a single fucking one of you said. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I'm I, have the, I have the full screen, Tristan. I can barely pay attention to what's on over here. Is that just you out of boredom? Because I've been wondering about that for a while. <laughs> yeah, why are you doing this? <laughs> well, anyway, just to see anyway. if anyone noticed. Anyway, no, I've been noticing. I just didn't say anything. Same here. Anyway, <laughs> anyway we're seeing the. <laughs> We're seeing the authority. Hey, are you still okay at this point? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm totally fine, but I was just like. I, I mean, is this really, is this really that boring? This? Is this really no, that no, boring? No. no, I just was curious if anyone would notice. This, that's it. All right. Yeah, well, anyway, 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 <laughs> anyway, we get this moment then where um, Jenny Sparks sees Snow and they flash back to 1939. Turns out the two slept with each other. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) Were you you any good? I was magnificent. You should have been there. I was never here. Neither was I. (laughs) I know that bastard's face from somewhere. But, yeah, so basically (laughs) the um, the authority have no clue about the snowflake, the supercomputer or anything. But planetary does. And uh, turns out one of the scientists that was sent there is crazy. He feels that he can open up the portal and basically become a god. And so he kills everyone else. Well, like, why haven't you killed me yet? Because I need someone to have sex with as I kill the world. <laughs> what? That's all I know. what a terrible I fucking that. answer. What a terrible answer. <laughs> yep. That guy, that guy. Jesus. We have to back here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they get on board the character. They can figure out what's been going on with those other things, attacks going on. The authority go after them, but by the time they get there, Snow and the others are gone out. And then they get there and they find out, oh, that guy died with a smile on his face. And they open up the world to another place as these giant mechs are flying around. This is what the authority deal was. Meanwhile, then, planetary deal was an evil version of the um, the authority. How are they evil? Well, look at them. They look like um, reptiles and all that. Lord have mercy. So yeah, so they fight. So they, they, they fight off with them. So basically, like the formed, uh, 
<laughs> sorry, sorry, you mentioned they look like lizards. I'm thinking about extreme dinosaurs and street sharks. Yeah, <laughs> street sharks. I, I, yeah. I, lo I love that show going up. Oh, yeah, they fight them off. So basically, this is why it's, it's still a crossover because they're both dealing with the same threat, <laughs> but they are trying, they're not interacting with each other directly. Which is kind of shame. I want to interact with each other, it could be well, fun. Warren Ellis wanted to do something different with the crossover concept with this. Okay. Uh. I, I, like I said, the authority may be ruling our, our ruling planet. The more we know of turning out like that, obsessed with ruling the world. Strange world. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> the next is um, the JLA planet. This one's an else world. In this version, the... Um, the planetary the planetary group are this world versions of the four. In fact, so they're the bad guys here. Jerry Wait, Yardway. The planetary the villains? Why? Yep, they are the bad guys. Because, save the world for the because, the, because the, no, this is an all this is an else world. Okay. I get that, Jerry. but why make them the bad guys? No, the Justice I League can be the good guys. Okay. So basically, but I want to have them team up, then be villains. No, no. Okay, but try again, he's trying to do something unique with this, Tavia. Got it. All right, but yeah, so basically we have Wonder Woman, and they're in a world that still has a lot of the technology. In this case, the door technology, but they're still being repressed. Everyone is still yes. being repressed. Um, Wayne Industries is still around as um, Diana meets up with Bruce. And I, I've always wanted to see stately Wayne Manor. We meet up with well, Alfred. Bruce Wayne and his young ward, Dick Grayson. <laughs> yep, and then Kent, Mr. Kent shows up. Now, none of them have been Superman, Wonder Woman, or Batman. None of them. But they've all what? dealt with the planetary. They've all affected their lives. Diana will get to a bit more, but we then find out that Snow killed um, the Waynes, and, um, and, and they also had the Kents killed. And look what? at this. Yeah. Oh. Superman oh, is pissed. Oh, God, this got dark. What? <laughs> yep, but we also find out that in this version, Diana had left that version. It's basically just like the planetary version of Wonder Woman, but she got out of there before the place was destroyed. Before the um, by the four. So she survived. So she survived. Last one standing. But we find out that Barry Allen been, um, and um, the Atom have all been experimenting on, and their technology stolen. So basically, yeah, no, the whole we, thing is for the J the Justice League, the Trinity, to take them down. Of course. Wait, yeah. wait. Does that mean what what the Justice League universe? Or I know the Elseworlds story. I get that, but does that mean Team Dan don't exist? No, no, no. No one exists. These are the only three remaining heroes. So it's the Trinity, not it's just the, the Trinity. Yeah, it's because if they make their way in, they soon find Doctor Erdell. The guy who ended up bringing in the um, um, Martian Manhunter to Earth. Well, he's working on a similar technology. They um, the four and the planetary decided to head on down there. Ambrose heads there, just as um, um, Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter is brought in, but unfortunately, <laughs> he dies because of um, the the atmosphere in this version. <laughs> damn! God damn it! Why does everyone yeah. die? <laughs> dying. Look at this. But look at this. Well, now, hello, Mr. Kid. Uh, right as he's saying it, he Superman just takes out his guns or uh, explodes its communicator. They go in for an attack, but as the fight's going on, he then gets knocked into that device. Um, and as he's falling in there, he is still slowing himself down. But unlike before, where it saved his life. This time it's slowing it down him. his it, no, it's slowing down his death. So he's gonna be dying very slowly. Oh yeah. my god, that's dark. That's a very dark death. <laughs> so they use that device to transport there, make their way up, and Superman's about to get killed. Hey Robin, no! before we started what? this, you said this was a love letter. Why does everyone keep dying? We'll talk note. more. We'll talk more when we're done. All right. But okay. as I said, so Superman, he's being sucked down the atmosphere. Now remember this: post-crisis Superman, he needed to hold his breast and everything true, before yeah. going into space. So he theoretically could die in the in space. So yeah, he gets launched into space with no air in his lungs. Yep. So. So Bruce and Diana head off. 
Turned out they killed off all the Green Lanterns. Ooh. What? Of course. How did they kill them guys <laughs> during Koi? Yep. And, uh, oh, no, anyone who came to Earth, they stopped and put a bullet in their heads. So mm. John Stewart dead. How Jordan dead. Guy yep. dead. Everybody's yep. dead. Now we're about to have Diana versus Jaquita. Oh, he's kind of cool. Bad fight. Bad fight. Bad fight. Bad fight. Bad yep. And Bruce puts on a, ba- a proto Batman outfit and is ready to deal with um, Snow, who in this version looks a lot like um, Lex. He's not a trooper. Yep. But it looks like for a moment, Chiquita's starting to win out, it seems like. Um, yeah, he's start- she's starting to win. But then Bruce gets the upper hand on Snow, takes him down, but he says, You still won't kill me. You have to kill me or you'll never be safe. And Diana killed him. Oof. Of course. Cool. Well, Mr. Wayne, it seems that we've won ourselves a world. What do we? What shall we do with it? Make it and we then see a bit of Clark's grenades. Yeah. He's now, dead? What so the this hell? Is, last last one. <laughs> this is too low letter, man. Hey, last oh, one. I know this guy has got the white jumpsuit on from the 70s. <laughs> I think it's meant to be. Superman. Superman's so dead now. What the hell? Like, anyway. What? Planetary Batman. Now again, this is originally going to be a different, a, a chapter of the um, the main book. But when they were offered to do a crossover, he separated and decided to make it like this. And yeah, then this book, story. yeah, this book on, on honors several versions. And you can see at the bottom, look at this. This book honors several versions of Batman from past eras and should be taken in the context of the time of if each represents. The Batman holding a gun on page forty is the same as depicted in Detective Thirty Two. From 1939. In other words, I'm making clear: don't bitch and moan. It's taken it specifically from that version. Which I oh, agree. Thank you. Finally, someone get the weapons. I okay. have it. So yeah, basically they're in Gotham City that exists in here, and they meet me up with Dick Grayson and Jasper, the Joker. No Tim Drake. Boo. No, I, I, I want Tim. I, anyway. So, yeah, they're in mm-hmm. there. They're being walked around. As it turns out, someone is attacking and killing people. It's not said if it's Batman. It, it probably is not. But they, they find about uh, Crime Alley. They told you a head full of an ab- ab- abyss. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, they're trying, to figure out, they're trying to figure out what's going on. But they say, damn it, I've seen that before. 1986. What happened in 1986? Partial multiversal collapse. The crisis. Several <laughs> years right have folded into one. Yep. Multiple Earths occupying the same space. This is what this is what happened to about a third of the combined population. Where the hell were you in 1986? Somewhere I wasn't supposed to be. Uh oh. Yep. So yeah, they're heading through there though. They go for a walk until they find a guy named John Black. He's the killer. It hurts. Oh? No, no. This guy's his name, John Black. He's the killer oh. that they're finding. Like no, apparently he's causing these worlds to um, portals to open. Okay. And, like and then um, yeah, they soon meet up with well, Batman. there's Batman. <laughs> you you got you got that in any of your files? Never seen anything like it. You and drums get after Black. I'll keep it busy. Not uh, not, a, Batman. Uh, not a murder method I've seen, and I've seen most of them. What do you know about this? No, and nothing you need to know about. My associates are running down the man responsible. He has an unusual medical condition. We're taking him out of the city, and he'll be dealt with. He'll be dealt with here. And you just sit there, uh, playing into a fight between him and... Let's put it this way. She starts to like him. I, it's definitely yeah. a problem for you. Tell me you're single. <laughs> <laughs> but as the fight's going the on, it causes another shift. And as they're fighting, soon... Well, he starts to win out against her. Oh, look at this artwork. This is also Cassidy. Actually, that's weird. You can't wait to Shiva. To, him. to a degree, but then this is different. Stand aside. Stand like, Eric, you, Eric, you Adam can do this West. if you want. Yeah. Adam, what? Stand aside. Oh, no. stand, stand aside, citizen. There's a miscreant on the loose in the Gotham City. <laughs> and Actually, weirdo, I'm going nowhere. You're staying here while my boys fix the situation. I'm sorry, ma'am, but as a fully, but as a fully deputized police leader of the Gotham City Police Department, I cannot allow that man to go free. If you go, you go through me. I can't hit a girl. You know, you were much more attractive a moment ago. <laughs> Bad apologies. 
Wait, wait. <laughs> Bad female villain repellent. Oh, my God. Bat, get me the bat sharp repellent spray. Oh, I love that. Oh, God. Okay, just give me a second. Let me just. Oops. Frank Miller. Oh, I'm busy tonight. You are costing me valuable time and protecting a lunatic. I know you're behind me. From this position, there are nine different ways to take you down. Six of them kill you outright. All of them lead to your friend here being accidentally rendered unable to walk for the rest of his life. Think carefully. Who are you? Who are, who are you? I'm the Batman. Batmobile, intercept! Fuck me, Batman. Uh, Batman. Maybe I should have a good, a good name. Call me Mr. Freeze. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I love this. That's Mr. Freeze to you. Brain Freeze. Oh, like, Batman I know. But then... And they keep on fighting, and then there's, there's another ship into the Neil Adams version. Who oh, called nice. Neil Adams? Yep. I miss look, Neil Adams. Look, look both ways before crossing the street. If you're sick, it's Alchemist Asylum for you. But you're going to meet Commissioner Gordon's boys first, regardless. <laughs> Sorry. Hurts. Of course it hurts. You've been run over. No, what I did. Not me. Didn't mean to. Oh, uh, then, um... Uh, uh -oh. and, as I he said... The murders he committed while in this fugue state occurred on our oh, Earth. Somehow they have... <laughs> what? 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 Oh. what is it? What, what the heck? It's not her. What is it? It's not her. It's someone else. Who's okay, trolling. someone get rid of that. Someone get rid of that. I just did. I can't. Not again. I can't. Oh my god, I was muted this time. Oh my yeah. god. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's not happening. I don't get it. What happened? But basically, it, it, we a get troll was trying to spell something oh, out that they shouldn't be spelling out. Damn. Oh, but and now look at it. Crime doesn't pay. Crime Nine mustn't boys. pay. Oh, but yeah, I didn't remember about what happened. Apparently, that boy's kid was killed, and parents were killed just like him. Now, this Batman is clearly a unique Batman. John Cassidy's own take on Batman. Oh, the, oh, the, the artist, artist. The artist. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. Oh God! Oh God! You're not a cop, are you? I don't think vigilante is the right word either. What's your name? John Black. How did your parents die? They were shot. What are your intentions? The people who killed his parents killed many other people and left damaged goods like him behind. His memories will give us vital clues to tracking those people down and bring them to justice. They're the criminals here. It's your panic. Panic that's doing this. You've lost control and it's causing this rotation effect they're talking about. That was you, wasn't it? The little boy. How do you do it? How do you cope? Do you remember your parents? Yes. Do you remember their smiles? Yes. Do you remember the, the times when they made you feel safe? Yes. That's what you hold on to. That's what you can do for other people. You can give them safety. You can show them they're not alone. That's how you make the world, and the world makes in, in sense. And if you can do that, you can stop the world from making more people like us. And no Aww. one will have to be scared anymore. He still needs to answer for the crimes he committed. He will. And the families will be aided and compensated to the best of our considerable resources. Not the same as having their loved ones back, but it's better than nothing. We're rotating back. He's, re he's relaxed. I'm trusting you, you to do the right thing. I don't care if you're from my reality or not. This is still my city, and I'll find you if I have to. I totally beat you up, you know. <laughs> if that's what you want to believe. I totally kicked his ass. You, you like him, don't you? He's your special bad friend. Get away from me. Told you this town is insane. <laughs> <laughs> and that, 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 that is that, everything. Oh that, that, is, that was everything. So, yeah, what yeah. did you all think? Oh, my this God. This is weird. Confusing. Also very interesting. But one else uh, unfortunately, it's only more confusing because I breathe through it all. But yes, overall... Yeah. I began to think we need to do this in parts because you keep breeze through everything. Yes. Context is lost. I understand that. Yeah, but but did it at least get you guys? Did it get you guys interested to want to buy it? No. Yes. Really. It kind of did check the no. studio out. Maybe. What? No. I mean, it was amusing, <laughs> but it wasn't the love letter that I thought it would be. Yeah, well, but, it's okay. It's feeling cynical. But it's still you could definitely tell the XPs, the nods he was making to everything. Yes, yeah, a lot of them died. But it's also his way of just trying to, um, oh, oh, geez, someone, I think that's on my, in my, in my, on my end. Hold on. No, the, no you no. might have some on your end, but I've got, I've gotten three on my end. 
Okay, Raymond, you got that one person, too. Actually, yeah, they're all the same person. Ah, uh, you're right. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. Look, but yeah, I mean, and they're trying to make uh, Thomas um, Roly up. I know that's not the same person. They, no, the it's reason, not. They're the no. reason why I give so many wrenches out. By the way. Yep. Mm. Well, this way you this got, was really easy to tell, and I just reported him for impersonation. So exactly. Yeah. But anyway. But anyway. Um. 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 But overall, would you guys still say this was an interesting story? Uh, story still. I think yeah. interesting story. Interesting Again, while story one I even it's I don't know anybody. The only watching character I know for watching all the forty, Midnight Apollo, and uh, yeah, I get that. I get that. But that's it. But this whole idea of them. Trying to find out the truth and that you know about about the secrets and how the four were trying to keep it all, you know, condensed yeah, keep it and everything. For themselves, they, they yeah, keep themselves. Yeah, yeah. The four. And they're then obviously, and then yeah. just seeing all this different stuff about you know basically he's okay. Maybe it wasn't so much a love letter so much as it was a shout out to all the history of a hundred years. And you guys say he definitely. Watch. I think the word you're looking for is an homage. An homage. homage, yes. Perfect. Yeah, homage. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you guys see all the The artwork was incredible, wasn't it? That was great. Yeah, I love the artwork. Yes. Yes. The I artwork I guess... is... so, Sorry, the artwork but I'm speaking of my, I agree with everything. Um, there was a whole lot of Spider Man, which is confusing because I've already killed. Oh, dude, we got Spider-Man. another guy. We got another one. Another uh, one. Let me win. Just, just yeah. block and ignore. Don't. They just. um. No, that was on your. That was on your. That was on your end. I know that was on mine. That was on mine. No, that one's on your end, man. Pad. Pad. Uh, who are these guys? It's Comics Gate. Losers. Of course, women that supplies those assholes. No Comics Gate, I know those got that. The guy, these Comics Gaters are jerks. Sheesh. No, yeah. it's yeah, but uh, anyway, anyway, but well, okay. What did you guys think about Snow? Snow was in the hero. In the, wait, was he the hero or the villain? He's the hero. Snow is the guy. The, the guy in white. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. my bad. I do like Snow. I think he's an Indian killer. Uh, Eric, yeah. what do you think of Snow? Um, yeah, I yeah, I agree with Tavia. He was in. Dyke, it was interesting for what he was. That Dyke was seeing all this happen all throughout the years and stuff. I, I, stuff I, I, and I, and, uncu- and Sully uncovering his past and all the conspiracies. Did you notice yeah. the change in him from the moment he um 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 I'll buy another one. Did you notice though the change in him from um 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 yeah the moment before he remembered everything to afterwards? Yes, he became I like, did like, like a joke. He became actually yeah. Well, no, he well he became much more serious about everything. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, apparently, yeah. I can't seem to hide anyone on my own channel. What the hell? I can't do what? it. What? Odd. I can't do it either, man. So yeah, it says I error. Try either. again. What the hell? Yeah, I don't What's know. What's going on here? Okay, well, I just put oh, him in man. timeout so I can get, and deal with that. I got it. Oh, Tris, oh. Like, I think you got it, Tris. Thanks. Yeah. I, yeah, I couldn't do it. What the hell's going on there? Yeah, I don't get what was going on. <laughs> oh, but there's another one disguised as you, Tris. <laughs> oh, it's the same of one again. Course. That's fine. Just ignore them. Yep. Yeah, sorry, I just see yeah, you guys I coming ignore. out of the woodwork. But anyway. Yeah. Um, Jeremy, what did you think about Snow? Uh, not interesting enough that would have engaged me into reading the rest of that. I can promise you that much. Like, I just didn't find him interesting enough that would make me go buy the whole series to read it. All right. Raymond? I'm that actually, Dead Guy kind of said my sentiments exactly. It's fine for what Sorry. it is. It's just not something that is not right. something that I'm all that interested in. All right. Carrie? Uh, it, it's it's depressing <laughs> watching it. Is. It is. Die. It's and I'm like, what the hell? I, I don't know. It was de- it, it'd be like no, I don't know if I I'd visit it. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't read. Well, if it's watched. Don't watch it. Only depressing. <laughs> okay, um, Tristan. What I about think. You? Okay, here's the thing. If we're comparing. Like teams that are similar with these guys in the authority. The authority to me is far superior, far more interesting. Maybe it's because there was more characters or the fact that I like uh, and Apollo so much. Mm-hmm. But honestly, I like the characters. And now I can't unhear Chiquita, though. Like when you right. say Chiquita, I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. But there was some points that 
that were so absurd that like, I yeah, literally the baby can't. and all that. Roasting <laughs> the motherfucking baby and then killing the entire Trinity, like Yeah. Absurd and amazing all at the same time. That's mm, true, yeah. but it but amazingly absurd. Now, in the yep. case of with the Justice League and everything, let's be the Trin oh no, you I mean that one Trinity, yeah. But again, yeah. That emphasizes yeah. the threat level that the, they have. Yeah. The planetary yeah. have. <laughs> but well, I think that, also, not, not planetary. The, the four who are the four. The four, planetary. yeah. But let's be honest though. When it comes to the four and everything, they were building up so much of it was built up because they had Leather and um, Jacob. Yeah, Remember that? The, they the, had Leather the, and the, Jacob. The, the woman analogs. Yeah, they were, but they were their muscle. Whereas, since um, Dowling couldn't stretch like Reed, he wasn't, he, I guess, he was smart. Yes, you can get in your head, but clearly he's going to do it so far. And, yeah. of course, Suskin um, is basically, um, um, she's the invisible woman. Yes, she can kill, but she's not as effective as the other two. You take those two off yeah. the board, those other two, well, they have, they have their intellect to run on, but that's about it. So yeah, in a they, way, they, so they, they're more the muscle. They're more kill first, aspirin, never. Exactly. So it made sense then that the, for the way they went down, anticlimactic, but it made sense given everything. It was a better it's up. Anticlimactic. Like all that blood has been a big mega fight. I say, they, I say and... they got what they deserved. Okay. Oh yeah, but they did yes, that but it's not anticlimactic. Wait, this this is in the main villain like two seconds. What? What the heck? I want a big fight. Yeah, yeah but Sorry, really though, no. you can't fight these two really because that would be pointless. Yes, Snow could have frozen them, but like he said. Oh, yeah, you try and freeze me, though. I'll just get in your mind and make you stop before you have a chance oh, to. Yeah. So, did this all catch them off guard? And utilizing the one thing that they got that they um, four couldn't get, the big ship, made sense. Yeah, it did. And then they're like, curse you! <laughs> I am you bastard! Now, <laughs> what about... Day. Now, so what would you say was your favorite like an issue that really caught your interest? Maybe not your favorite, but really you it stood Dead out. Dead babies. De <laughs> you stop. <laughs> like That's honestly, it was it was it was so so surreal that Good I was Lord. like, this is this is yeah. happening. This is this is happening. Like babies are my kryptonite, and the fact that they just fried this baby. And but then that, the rest but, of the oh. issue was murder, mayhem, and genocide. But didn't you? But didn't oh, you right. also say that was ugly before you? I said. They oh, it was absolutely it. ugly. Some babies yeah. are ugly. Let's be real here. But they're still yeah. adorable. Yeah, yeah adorable. but come on, just the whole idea of them killing off a Kal El XP. It's like, well, yeah, that was dumb. If you were a villain, if you were a villain, and you know how powerful this alien would be, yeah, you kill it the same moment it got there. If I had a villain, I would leave that kid but... because, because I think my weapon. Like, well, rather, that it too. Reminds me, it reminds me of what you told me about those bad guys in Booster Gold. If they knew, they would just go back in time when Booster was a baby, and boom. Well, yeah, if he was, saw Booster yeah. was a threat, exactly. But okay, so but overall, though, this I what would you guys if you had to give a rating to this one to ten, just to be um, simple, Tavia, what would you give this? Wait, uh, I I know, I know again my favorite moment of the entire series. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can. I thought my favorite moment in series is concerned. I think my favorite moment in series with the whole um, innocent story with the um, backstory of um, um, the female. Oh, Chiquita, Chiquita. Yeah, I like her backstory. Chiquita, Chiquita. Yeah, I love her character. She's yep. awesome. Oh, yeah, I, I like that. I like that too. And the fact that she got the whole I get bored easily from her parents. Clearly, it's what yeah, brought her so, about. Yeah, that was fun. I love I love her character. In fact, I would love to see her team on Jordan. I know that thing and I haven't watched her or watch any fun DC even now. But uh, mm -hmm. if we can see her appear again in main DC unit inventory, maybe. Yeah, I think you could fit in the main DCU. She would be an in yeah. uh, Okay. Imagine, could you guys imagine Planetary? Uh, some version of them. Not exactly what we had here, but some version of them in the main DCU. I'll okay. be over yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Hey, I plan Maybe with Wildstorm. Check your knuckle and then it'll be a villain. <laughs> oh! That give me an idea. Hold on, I just really think. I, I know, I know, I know. You know, I did what off. Okay, topic, let's, but... Tavia, let's let everyone else get a chance. Eric, Sorry. what would you rate this, and what it would, and what would you rate this? I need to read more because again, you browsed right through it. All right, the Fair artwork enough. gets the artwork gets a ten. The artwork gets a nine. The artwork, yeah. Yeah, John Cassidy does great artwork. Yeah, I'll say that. 
that story again. I would uh, have to read. You one, need but, it's a dense read. It's a dense yeah. read. But yeah, but, that, but 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 uh, but yeah, look. It's seventy five. But it's seventy five dollars. It is okay. Yep, but on on yeah. Amazon. It's reduced down to. Let me check where it's at currently. Um, Is that forty four dollars or something? Something like that. Let me check. Hold on. <laughs> because if I read more. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What I miss now? Oh, <laughs> what, he went from a movie to his car oh. to his room to another room, and now he's oh. like in the fucking living room. <laughs> yeah, he, he can't stay in one place for too long. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. If if you want to get on uh, on um. Amazon, it's forty four forty nine. No, nope. that's not bad. Because yeah, so summary, yeah. because yeah. I prop my rating would be higher, but just based on your summary, it's a seven. Seven. All right. Okay, okay uh, Jeremy. Yeah. What would you? Oh, what would you, my what your favorite scene, and what would you rate this? My favorite scene. Yep. Or issue. Or issue. I'm not. I will go scene because those issues for me were all over the place. Um. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to go with the appearance of Frank Miller, Batman. That's 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 my personal. <laughs> that was cool. I enjoyed yeah, that. That, that I enjoyed was fun. That. And then right. uh, rating, uh, I'll, I mean, five and a half. Well, that's six, not bad. That's not bad. Too thick for originality, exactly. but uh, yeah. yeah, it it was all over the place. I didn't like the story at all. All right, really. uh, Raymond, what about you? Uh, favorite scene is when Snow kicked that one dude in the balls. You mean, uh, <laughs> uh, wait, 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 kick Leather or kick Dracula? He did both. I don't know. He kicked someone in there the balls. There was multiple balls bashing. Yeah, multiple balls. Balls. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming Dracula because he kicked his balls off. Okay, let's go with that one. And as for a score, it's a six. It's a six mainly just for the art. The story wasn't all that interesting. Again. It's because I some. It's not good for summarizing. I will be I honest. It's not very disjointed the way you described yeah. it. It's all all yeah, over it's the annoying. place. And I there was know. a couple times I was like, "Who's that fucking character?" Like there was right. a couple yeah. times, but yeah. it felt very disjointed. Yeah, I understand. I, I, that is the one downside of my show. Yeah, I think you should have chosen a better book for this. Uh, maybe maybe this isn't a two-part. But a, two uh, uh, yeah, honestly, maybe, maybe I should have done the ultimate. Maybe I should have done the ultimate. Well, yeah, the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate is the one that you yeah, understand. Yeah. I do want to open yeah. the two. I don't want to open the one. Oh. So. My final answer is a six for the art and the ball kicking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Carrie. Yeah, guys, favorite, honestly, favorite. This, yeah, this should have been a multi-part, Rob. Uh, you're right. You are right. Uh, Carrie, Oops. favorite issue or yeah. scene and your rating. That the interior of that ship was just amazing and beautiful. Yes, I yeah, love awesome. Cassidy's artwork in that. Uh, mm -hmm. Overall, though, uh, again, art is great, like everybody else is saying, but I'm going to have to be like a five. I, it, it, was, it, was, it just oh, felt like yeah. else was just trying to do this like weird tribute to every genre he loved. That's the word <laughs> I should have done more. Not love letter, a tribute. It's what I should have said. Yeah, you should be a love letter. Love letter. Homage. Like, still An homage. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. yeah, it's like every wow. issue was something like you had the kaiju issue, then you had the pulp yep. hero issue. It was like, okay, where are we going with this? How does this all connect together? <laughs> the kaiju issue might be my favorite. Like, I might need to just read it. It does connect to yeah, I noticed it connects together at the end. It just take that, but because it's twenty seven issues, it takes a while to get there. Yeah, that there it's a very twenty six in an epilogue. Yeah, this was epilogue. a very. This is definitely a writing for the trade comic. It was very decompressed. This was at yeah, the height of yes. decompression of comics, or just above, above the, or I should say, just about the peak of it, because we hadn't gone to Bendis Ultimate Spider Man. Bendis Ultimate. Bendis was Bendis Ultimate Spider Man. No no. Uh, no, no, Bendis, Robert and I agree on one thing about Bendis. He's great at the ground level heroes, Spider-Man, Daredevil, yeah. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, those sort of guys. Nice. Right, give him a superhero. He doesn't know like, he doesn't know an all. He, he, he know has to ground him. He feels know, he the need to ground, to ground him. him. He doesn't like, know a psycho me. from a, a psych, psychic from a psycho. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, Tristan, <laughs> favorite issue or scene, and what would you rate this? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I did like that um, you pointed out some stuff I didn't even notice when I first originally read the first I, I think I only got to maybe issue 8 mm -hmm. but um, I mean oh my god you mean the Paul Piro connection 
Yeah, I know. Like, even I didn't know that that was like Mothra and and oh, yeah. uh, stuff in the beginning. Like, because I don't know, I don't know uh, kaiju's very Kaiju? well. But, yeah. your, your favorite um, scene was infanticide, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's be real. Not only that, but like, I really liked like the little um, death and Sandman and the right. Constantine stuff. Oh so, yeah. I'm, that, like, that well, I would say overall, though, I'd give it a five. If I had read it and knew all the context and the nuance within the story, that could have easily changed. But right. mm-hmm. with something quick like this, I, I think a five is fair. Right. I got to say, that vertigo right. issue is definitely one of my favorites. Just this yeah, whole, it's really good. Issue again, given the context of you know the era, it made sense in his mind he was closing the door on vertigo in a lot of ways. Oh, Robert, yeah. I got I to gotta, I gotta go. That's all right, all right. Thank you. I, I was gonna wrap up anyway, Tris. I was about wait, to wrap wait, up. Wait, wait, I gotta get my wedding. I gotta get my wedding. Oh, yeah, what was your wedding? Hurry yeah, up. Yeah, uh, I bought a series as a whole. Um, okay. Um, I'm trying to look better because I got so confused and lost <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 All right, David. It's hard, David. Yeah, make it quick. Right. I know, I know, I know. Our bladders right. cannot hold um, it anymore. To make that super, <laughs> super quick, I get to see a. I know, and I'm gonna hear about it. I know. I'll get five, five out of ten. More, more five. That's fine. Five more That's times, fine. That's fair. I feel confused. That's fair. That's fair. But again, thank you guys yeah. so much. Two hundred lessons. Nothing to sneeze at, is that? Thank <laughs> yeah, you so amazing. much. Amazing. That's really really amazing. amazing. Congratulations. And I, got, and I already got so many in the can already for the next couple of weeks. So we'll be hanging the two fifty in no time. So I'm we'll doing be, more DC Looney Tunes, guys. Yep, the web, that's the next. <laughs> after we actually have Booster Gold, and then after that, it'll be more DC Looney Tunes with this guy here. Ooh, and yeah. who? Yep. Way too much. And we'll and we'll see you all on the next one, though.